Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, we've got Barina from Cakes by Barina back in the kitchen. I tell you, Hi. three times in eight, eight, two years, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at that, how good's that? So she's back. Can't get enough of me. She did a fantastic <laughs> live last time when she made that most beautiful box that now I've said to her, right, you've got to come back again. So you did a square cake last time. We want you to do a round cake. We want you to do some flowers. And then we're in the warehouse and thinking, oh, what do you not know that we've used before? So she's never used one of these before. Have you used one of these before? No, never. So we're going to use one of these today. Didn't we've got that. the bee for Barina. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not sure what we're going to do with it. This could be a really long live, Laura. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we're not sure what we're doing. <laughs> but we're going to play it by ear and we're going to go with it. So today, we are going to talk about sugar paste, we're going to talk about Tylo, we're going to talk about how much you put in it, what's the difference, and how to use your sugar paste, aren't we? Yeah. You're going to tell them all. Everything. As though you're confident and Everything. know what you're talking about. As if I am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I've asked her to make a load of flowers, which she said, Karen, they're going to make all them, so I said, don't worry, I'll help you. So let's just go by here and let's see how we go. So Laura, I'm going to hand this over to you. Wonderful. <laughs> um, so hello to everyone who's joined us this evening. It's much appreciated and we love having you watching with us. Um, we normally do get quite a few new people who join us. So as always, if you are new, say hi, introduce yourself. And um, if you've got any questions that are relevant to the live this evening, do pop your comment on there. We will try and get through to them, but the, the feed moves very quickly. So if we do miss them, we'll always catch up with you afterwards when the live's finished and then when Barina's settled and she relaxed and chilled out after the live. And we'll go through any questions that we might have Chilled missed. out after the live. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a chance to breathe. Who's ever chilled out after no, the live? No one ever. <laughs> um, but our, all of the viewers who regularly watch, they're really good. So they will try and pop links up and ask you questions and things like that that we can't get through to. Um, but because we want to cram as much as we can in this evening, um, we might not get round to everything. So just to let everybody know that. Um, if you do miss any of the Facebook Live or you can't watch the whole session, then you can catch up with us on the Facebook page. It will be pinned to the top of the page when we're finished. And it get, also gets transferred over to YouTube as well, normally by the middle of the week. Um, and then any products that are in use this evening can be bought directly from Sugar and Crumbs. So head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can either search by brand or use the Facebook Live wish list that's on the top right hand corner. Fantastic, well done. So is our audience growing, Laura? Yes, Good. it just always takes a few minutes for everyone to build up, but there's lots of highs, hellos, and for people very excited to see you back in the kitchen, Marina. Yeah. So it's a nice warm welcome. It's always nice yeah. to have a pretty one in the kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> I'm talking about myself, of course. So, <laughs> she's okay. So, anyhow, in the kitchen today we have Laura, you've just heard talking, and we've got just Shelley today doing the filming, okay? Hi, Hi Shelley. You all right? <laughs> so, for those people who don't know, who've joined us before, we have two ladies who come in and do little one-minute videos, and basically they follow the tutor around, and they film loads of clips, okay? And then by the end of the week, they are able to make some one-minute clips from the bits that they've done. So, I don't know how they do it, but Maria and Shelley are absolutely fantastic. So you'll be watching a two hour live, but they will probably make two to three one minute videos and they seem to get everything in, don't they, Laura? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's great. Yeah. You've seen them as well, haven't you? Yeah, They're good, yeah, aren't they? Brilliant. They're really yeah. nice promotional ones. So um, as I say, Brina has flown in from Ireland this morning, just a bit of picked her up from the airport. So she's here, we've set up today. Um, she's doing the live and then we are out of here in the morning on an early bird flight out to back to Ireland, aren't we? Yeah. We don't like you saying long, do we? No. <laughs> Uh, get them in, kick them out. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> Just for you guys. <laughs> so um, when Marina came in the very first time, made a beautiful... Um, what did you do? We, we made a beautiful box and we used Karen Davies sugar flower moulds and put it put it over, didn't we? The first time was, yeah, the moulds yeah. and we did a little unicorn cake yeah. as well. Yeah. And it was the first time we used the nifty nozzles yes. ever. Which was exciting when I got it right. <laughs> um, we used Colour Splash to do the dust. Oh, yeah, you love that. Don't oh, yeah, Colour Splash really now. Like yeah. I'm addicted to it ever since. Yeah. And we're going to put you on Fractal today. Yes! <laughs> a new one. Fractal and So, Fractals. as you know, we're big fans of Colour Splash, big fans of Fractal. We also sell Pro Gel, which is amazing colour as well by Renshaw. Um, we sell paints, we sell dust. We're going to talk to you about those things anyhow through the live today. Um, so, Brina was one of the very first brave tutors that came on our Facebook Live. And I have to thank Karen Davis, Marion Frost and Verena because they were the first ones when I asked them, how 
all right then, we'll give it a go. <laughs> and you know, when it's new, it's a bit scary, wasn't it? Remember yeah. in the days when John was there filming just by himself, following you around, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was good though, I enjoyed yeah. it. And then she came back again. So she's been back earlier on in this year. And she's made a beautiful candy box. I'm sure you all loved it. In fact, I know you absolutely loved it. So that was beautiful. And then we said, can you come back again? So here she is. But the problem is we don't know what we're making. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the flow. We're gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Sorry if any of my customers are listening, but this is kind of how I work with my cakes. I get creative as I go along. Yeah, so and that's, a that's exactly what I'm going to do. But to be fair, that's what I asked Farina. I said to Farina, will you come back again? And I said, and she said, well, what do you want me to make? So I said, it's all about her smoothers, by the way. Get one of your smoothers oh, yeah, out and show them. Smoothers. So, smoothers. I know so, so many of you have got this set. So it's a fabulous set of 11, isn't it? 11 bits? Nine. Nine bits, okay. Nine. Nearly give you two free then. Yeah. <laughs> so we have three angled of different sizes. Okay, therefore, um, they're brilliant for actually doing like carved cakes, but they're great for square cakes on the edges, um, which we showed you last time. And then we have straight big ones, this unique get a grip with a silicone grip on the back. Um, and we have all different sizes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Sitting now I know when from the first time Barina has been here, these have always been selling. They've sold really very well. Yeah. But the get a grip, okay, is the is the real real good one. Because you know sometimes we're smoothing away and then you just end up losing the smoother. Well this one, it means that you've gripped it in your hand and it's going. Yeah. And she's gonna show you how to smooth the cake. And the very first one, I do have to apologise to Brina, because she made this most beautiful sharp edge square cake. And then I made her ruin the whole effect and a few people commented it because I got out a Karen Davies buttercream flower board and stuck flowers all over it. Shut up, it was a waste of time I'm sharp edging it really. <laughs> and so many of you said, well that was a shame. But <laughs> the idea was to show you how we did it. So anyhow, so that, that was that. So when Barina came again last time, I said, look, can you come back again? And can we talk about sugar paste? Can we talk about Tylo? Can we make a couple of flowers? And can you think of something and, you know, can I spring something on you? So I give her two new products to try today. So this one from Patchwork Cutters, which isn't a new product, but they're the big letters, okay? They're the large letters, they're capitals from Patchwork Cutters. So we've used, we're going to use the B. And then I'm going to, she's heard so much about this, Pasta de Flores, um, sugar uh, flour paste. So she's heard so much about this that you wanted to give it a go, didn't you? Yeah. So we're going to give it a go. I've already had a play. Yes, yeah, so we've got one there, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. Use this. So that's another product that we're going to show you. And, and we're going to use the cutters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to use the FMM cutters. And we're going to use... We're going to use this. Yeah, we're going to use that. Going, yeah. yeah. Everybody Sorry. wants to know what all the sparkly stuff is that people are putting on their cakes. And it's shiny and edible, so... That's it there. I, I found it in the warehouse earlier and grabbed a whole load of pots for myself. So. Yeah. And then the other thing that we're using, and Brina used it last time she was here, is Select Island Sugar Paste. Now this company contacted me earlier on in the year. They asked me would I give it a go, give it a try. I did ask Brina, ask Brina what she thought of it actually. And she said she actually uses it. So she used it last time. We're going to use it this time. We do it in five kilos of white, two kilos of baby pink and two kilos of baby blue. Okay, so I don't know what colours you're going to use today, but any it's there, it's white. available. Yeah, and then what else are we going to do? Mm. Oh yeah, we're going to actually make a ring, ah, like yes. a DIY floral ring, and we're going to put the bee in there as a topper. I told you she gets creative. We're going to make a rose using the little cell bud. Um, this one's a cell bud. What one is it? The Not 16 millimetre. Yeah, 16, 16 millimetre. We're going to wire some leaves using the Katie Sue leaf rose mold. leaf yep. mould. Yeah, we're going to cover a cake and get it as sharp as possible. Well, not a real cake, a dummy cake. I need to find you a cake drum for that as well, don't yeah. I? So, so I'll, find it, I'll be rooting in the drums so Laura can um, carry on telling you yeah. who's here and everything. And then the other thing is, Laura will just tell you, uh, well, I'll tell you anyhow. So if there's anyone new to the live, okay, this is a live demonstration. It's a bit of fun, 
okay we don't take ourselves too seriously in here what we're doing is just free tutorials showing you our products everything that we make in here whether we make something to eat or whether we're just showing you how to make sugar flowers or whatever they are only being then given out within the staff of sugar and crumbs or our own family and members so we're not actually making anything for the general public so if you do see me touch my hair touch my cheek I'm a little itch yeah. kind of an itch as well mm -hmm. just in case <laughs> <laughs> don't worry the other thing is I'd like to think I'm not contaminated what about you are you contaminated you, you, you're you okay to went, touch I went <laughs> <laughs> it does make me laugh because people what can you do you end up should I took that workshop again should I touch that again oh I best go and wash my hands it gets a bit bonkers we're gonna have it? fun and I'll probably mess up because I'm really good at that they love the messing up yeah, yeah. They I'll show you how to fix it yeah that's what we want yeah so what size drums do what size cake drums do you want this for them? is uh, a six inch so if we get a uh, eight or ten. Yep. Yeah, so ten would do. Ten, ten would do. Perfect. Right, ten. brilliant. Lovely. So I'm going to leave Marina to get on with the demo. If you can hear some rummaging, it's me in the cupboard. And then I'm going to sit there with Laura and we are going to fire questions at Marina. Yeah. Lovely. Good First girl. First thing I'm going to do is make a rose. <laughs> a very simple rose. And then we'll get on with those leaves, Carol. And that's when I'll need you. Fantastic. Um, I'm using the FMM rose petal cutters. They come in a set of one, two, three, four, five. Um, I need those two sizes, the two middle ones. I'll pop the rest away. So I'm gonna give this lovely flower paste a go. Pasta de Flores. It's been really popular since we launched yeah. it with Catalina. Everyone went absolutely crazy yeah. for it. Um, and it's it's just amazing and it's so versatile in terms of the flowers and the leaves and everything that you can yeah. use it for. It's fantastic. Um, I've got I've got red, purple, silver. I'll just Rose cover it up so any colour silver. Are you gonna Are you gonna cover them? Yeah, I'm gonna cover it. I like to cover my drum. Right, good. Um, just makes things everything nice, nice and tidy and a little bit professional. Um, so I'm gonna grab one of these buds, and these buds actually come with a pre-made hole in them, so you can wire them. You pop your wire through, pull it down. And then just twist it nice and tight so that's not going to go anywhere. And that wires your bud for you. So we can attach this to other things later on. Great. I'll stop making a noise now in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and sit over to my sidekick over here. <laughs> I love it when Laura speaks out and shouts everything out. <laughs> and I just sit here and scoff. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to a flower paste that I like to knead with Trex and I like to roll out in Trex as well. Um, it keeps things nice and pliable for me, nice and soft. If you use corn flour, it can dry out your flower paste a little bit too quickly. So I always knead with Trex and roll out in Trex as well. We do have quite a few people who I know from previous lives and things have asked where they can get Trex from. It's actually far more available now in the general yeah. supermarkets like Asda and Sainsbury's and things. Um, and it's tasteless. It's, you know, there's no sort of smell or taste to it. And it is just a pure, is it a vegetable it's fat? Vegetable yeah, vegetable yeah, just fat, a pure yeah. vegetable fat. And I get mine from Sainsbury's and Tesco's. Yeah. And I think Asda might sell I'm sure it well. Asda sell it now as well, yeah. Mm. We don't have it in Northern Ireland anymore. Do you not? No, right. there is an alternative. There's no alternative? Yeah. Oh, there is. Um, Tesco's do a stock well lard, um, and it doesn't smell or anything. It's pretty much the same as Trex, but just we don't have Trex anymore. None right. of the shops stock it. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this out. You can roll this stuff out really thin. I tried earlier, okay, but if we've got People who aren't so used to making sugar flowers, um, if we roll it out to a millimetre thick, if you can't guesstimate what a millimetre thick is, can I grab some smoothers? Sorry. You can. Um, if you can't guesstimate what a millimetre is, you can put your smoothers at each side, okay, and that makes it like a spacer for you. And then you can use that as a guide to yeah, roll it out to the thickness mm. of the smoothers. I like okay? that idea. It's a good wee tip. Okay, and that gives you the correct thickness. I really like this stuff, it doesn't dry out too quickly. 
especially in the summer if you've got a hot kitchen. Mm -hmm. These square pieces can dry out really, really quick. Okay. So if you're pro or you've got really used to this stuff, you can go half as thin on that yeah and save yourself loads of paste but yeah. you know if you're trying this for the first time or you're quite new to flowers one millimeter thick will do okay so i'm using the second cutter in that set out of five okay i'm not going to cut five of them okay one two three it's nice to be able to see the roses made a different way, isn't yes, it? Yeah. It's amazing the amount of variations of making mo roses. So you've got the, I remember, who was it? Was it Marion Frost who said the thumb rose? What did she say? Oh, yes. Right, yeah, the thumb rose. That's right. Then you've got Natalie, who's got her uh, rose cutters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I laughs> then we've got these them. individuals. Oh, you should try them. They're brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely I must brilliant. Try them. Yeah. I haven't tried them yet. I love trying new things. Okay, pop them on, the, on a petal pad. Um, I don't use a ball tool for these unless you like have a giant ball tool. I just use the end of my rolling pin to smooth down the edges of the petals. Okay, so at the bottom you want to retain that thickness, you don't want that too thin. Your um, rolling pin or giant ball tool is half on petal, half on petal pad, and you just sweep that round to thin that edge. This thins out really nicely. I think I have a new favourite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you're going to love it when you start using it. Okay. So just as a quick recap, this is the Pasta de Flores and it's available directly from Sugar and Crumbs. It's not super white in colour like other, like the Squires for example. Call it natural. It, yeah, it's natural. It basically it hasn't been dyed. Yeah. Um, so it's just a natural sugar colour. It's an off-white colour. It doesn't pick it up on the camera very well, but if you purchase it and you use it, you will be able to see the difference. Get you, Laura, eh? What? Pasta de Flores. That's it, is that yeah. right? Oh, yeah, that's all right. I always say pasta de flores, I always get it wrong. <laughs> Maybe you're right and I'm wrong, who knows? <laughs> so, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> two out of five of these petals, okay, we want to fully glue, okay? When you do your glue, you've given me a manky brush. I won't be, but there's a whole brush there, look. So look. you have... I've seen that big tub full there. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't want for any more, could... really. <laughs> Did I pick the only monkey one there was? the only monkey brush. I love that monkey brush. So I wonder how many of our audience have got a monkey brush. What exactly is a monkey brush, Barina? Dirty. <laughs> Why is it dirty? What's it got in it? It's covered in black. Oh, is it? There we go. Oh, we had black oh, last time. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, so two of them are completely covered. <laughs> Don't you just love it, Shelley? Don't get that on the one minute clip, will you? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit it out. <laughs> hey, Ash can hide it. Good girl. That's what we like. See, you can and hide it. You've been on what, for five minutes and you're already having to edit stuff out, Cara. Okay, so the first petal, pop it down, making sure that the point just of the petal is reaching the wire. Is that yeah. all right? Come here. That's it. Yeah. Okay, reaching the wire, okay? Then you just gently tease that round. The bud, okay? Keep it nearer into the centre. Yep. Here. Okay. Take your thumb nail, okay? Poke that bit in using your index finger. Just seal it over, okay? It needs to be completely sealed. We don't want to be showing any polystyrene cone. There you go. Super. There we are. Okay? All this is going to be covered by petals later on, so we don't have to worry about this, how the bottom looks. Take the next one and on the opposite side, you do the same. Just making sure that petal is about a millimetre above the previous petal. There we are. And just seal it over. Handy having them nails, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> eh? They're my own. Some, na some nails are a pain, like mine. They jab everything. Yeah. And then other times they're really handy. Are they your own nails? Yeah. Are they? Mm -hmm. Crikey, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Natural beauty, you know. Yeah, well you are a beauty. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, you are okay, a beauty. Okay, next, next three petals. I've got them facing in front of me again, okay, with a little V pointing towards me. Let's get a clean brush. Maybe a non-nat manky brush. <laughs> non manky brush. <laughs> Should I get you some tissue, baby? You can yeah, that would be Thank you. Yeah, that would do. Here. Yeah, I've got one. Okay, 
Now with these ones, I don't want to glue the whole petal, I want to just glue a V, okay? So we're taking the glue two thirds of the way up, glue V each side. I'm not going to be making my full rows with you, just doing a little bit um, to make a rose big enough just for this little wreath. Picture them all there for you, young lady. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> So pick it up with your right hand, okay? Take your first petal with your left hand, pop it on, making sure that petal is one millimeter above the previous petal. With your left index finger and middle finger, just make sure that side is completely glued down. Okay, leave this side open and flat. Take petal two and tuck it in halfway sure that side's glued down. Sorry for noise in background, getting us a drink each. Take that previous petal, petal one, and you pull and stick, okay? When you pull and stick, pull it south a little bit, and that gives you this unfurling rose effect. Remember, you can roll these petals a lot thinner than I have here, okay? Yeah, so do remember, guys, this is a beautiful new, new um, flower paste that we're bringing out but there's lots of there's lots of other equally good brands so if you prefer your own brand like squires we do sell it if you prefer renshaw we sell that as well who else do we sell we sell smart flex flower paste yes, as well we do um what other flower paste do we sell i can't think we have the flower and modeling paste oh we, we have saraceno oh, petal yes, base we have the petal. yes we yeah do. so all those the are really base. good okay but you know sometimes people like a favorite but i would like you to give this a try and Catalina Angel was here and she showed you how fine to get that. And that's what's so good about this. It's looking good, that rose. Beautiful. So I you can hear a noise in the background. It's no Laura sorry. opening up cans of Trying cock. to quietly open a can just does not work. <laughs> I never offered you a drink, Brina. Do you like a drink? Wine, please. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> After the live. <laughs> After you've worked for your living. <laughs> Right. right, there we go, that's the start of it. So that's bring that bud. down a bit so you can see. So that different. is the start of our unfurling rose. Well, I have to say, so that's fancy. beautiful, isn't it? Usually we have a four stages on this and we've got, you know, we leave it to dry overnight and between each stage, but we're doing a live, so we have got to go on with the next one. See, that's been rolled out a little while and it's not completely dry on me yet, so I can actually... Well, that's the, other, that, that's the nice thing about this yeah. as well. You can roll this out. You don't have to keep covering it up. I mean, obviously you can't leave it out for hours, yeah. but you don't have to keep covering it up. And then, and the other thing is, you can actually rework it again, can't yeah. you? I like it's it. Fantastic. Mm. I'm just gonna do it a tiny bit thinner for me. Yeah, you're gonna get brave with it. <laughs> yeah, Brina's getting brave. And so just to recap for anyone who's missed the start of the live, we've got Brina back in the kitchen with us this evening. From um, Cakes by Barina. Cakes by Barina. A uh, few of you may have remembered her being with us previously. Um, so we're going to do a couple of different techniques this evening. So Barina's going to cover a round cake for us using the Cakes by Barina smoother set. And you'll see that the um, gum paste she's using, the flower paste that she's using at the moment is the Pasta de Flores. Um, just making a quick rose and ultimately it's going to be on a handmade wreath with the Patchwork Cutters extra large letters which will be beautiful on there. We have sold them for quite a while but I don't think we've ever done a demo on no, them. No we haven't, that's it. So I think that's that's what it is. We, we have we've so dumped it on Brina today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is we have so many products and we just never get a chance to show them yeah. and it's such a yeah. shame because they're fantastic. Yeah. So. I'm going to use a ball tool to try smooth this down a little bit more for myself because this really can go so thin. I can't wait to make pansies with this. I tell you, yeah. Are you going, like, to, you're going to use this for your... Um, I'm going to use it for my tutorial. Yeah. yeah. So let me just tell you a little bit about... In fact, we'll let Verena tell a little bit about yourself. So come on, Verena, tell us about your page and all um, the things that you sell on there. Verena? Um, yeah. I, I do online tutorials on Facebook mostly. Yeah. live so I mess up a lot and fix it all up yeah um, but everybody seems to enjoy and accept for what it is um, I do smoothers when she says she does smoothers she actually manufactures smoothers I do and we buy them off her Every and they sell single. like hotcakes so if you haven't yeah. got any <laughs> it's handmade 
Bye bye. Okay. She does make me laugh. She sends me pictures of her hand making them <laughs> all over her dining room table. <laughs> Just get piles of acrylic. Is it is acrylic like, or acetate? What is it? It's, it's called propylene. Or is it? Plastic. Sends me pictures of them. This is what I've got to do tonight, Carol. <laughs> I'm making your order. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am going to have to now get premises and an assistant because you are working me so hard, Carol. You're <laughs> selling them like hot cakes. So. Okay, so they're smoothed down. I want to do something a little bit different with these petals. Um, if you've got dainty little delicate fingers, you can just curl these petals with your hands. If you don't, you can use a cocktail stick or the end of a brush or something to, to curl them up. So I'm just going to fold them back a little bit and curl, okay? Do you want a cocktail stick? No, I'm, I'm going to say you did very well with that one. I've got dainty fingers. Yeah. So if I did that, they would have been squashed. Yeah, it would have been squashed. It would have been the big fat curl. Butterfly <laughs> fingers. So if you if you didn't hear there, Barina is Kate's by Barina. Okay, so go over to a page like a page. If you don't get everything that she said tonight, you can private message her. If she's got any energy tonight, she will answer all your messages for you. If not, hard luck. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wait till she's got on that flight back home and sort herself out. But she will, she will message, she will come back to you. Yeah. She'll try and answer as many, many questions on the live feed as you can. Laura and I are not answering messages, answering anything today because we don't know the answers, do we? No. <laughs> Quite simply, no. And especially as Barina's winging it, we don't really know <laughs> what she's doing. The so. most important thing is that everything's for sale on sugar and crumbs. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So, um, and then what Brina does do is that she does online tutorials and they're actually very reasonably priced, aren't they, Brina? They are. This rose, a large version of this rose, um, I do have, this is my most popular tutorial. So, um, it's, what, 20 quid? Wow. Come on to that, can you? And it's a, tu it's a tutorial that you can go back and watch and watch and watch again. I take yeah. it, do they download it? Or do they just log in? The group is available for as long as Facebook's in business, we're in business. Um, so they can just go in and watch as many times as they want. You can pause, you can make a cup of tea, you can do it in your own living room. There's no pressure. Um, you can watch it as many times as you like. And compared to in person, people have, people have found it actually easier to make these flowers with the online tutorials because they can watch back as many times as you like yeah. rather than paying me £120 per person for just two flowers and then going off and forgetting half mm. of what I've said. Yeah. And also when you're in a room with other people, everybody's watching you, I'm watching you and I can be quite firm. Um, you know, it, it's just not as easy. You can be so much more relaxed in your house sitting, sitting watching this. And they're, yeah. they're a little bit funny too, so if you... Um, a bit, little bit funny. Don't mind. I can't believe that. <laughs> you don't do you mind mean you have a sense of humour on your lives, do you as well? If you don't mind colourful language, they're for you. Great. Oh, you're a girl after me, or not? <laughs> So Anyhow. I just glued those, if you saw there, I just glued the V again and I took the glue right up to where they're folded there. I'm you got gonna... those, Shelley? Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm going to pop this on now, okay? Mm -hmm. Just making sure I'm overlapping two previous petals. And this little point is just about a millimetre or two above the previous petals. Stick down that one side again. The widest part of petal two should be lined up with the little point of the previous petal. Tuck it in, stick that side, pull and stick. This time you don't need to pull and, and stick side. Central. Yeah, there you are. It's, it's an easy thing to do. What happens is, if you line yourself up with the end of that pad, mm -hmm. you're right in the middle. Should have brought my glasses. <laughs> I was going to say I'm glad it's not me because I can never see anything. I was getting out cutters. Breen said, "Can you have the? Can you get these cutters out?" And I had a look. I went, "I can't read that. Can you have a look?" <laughs> you can just see it coming together. It's how amazing. pretty it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's so pretty. Okay. Right. No. That's a little bit stuck together so usually we get a little cocktail stick in here these gaps are really important that makes the rose look like it's unfurling okay so we can just get in a wee brush open up these gap gaps a little bit there we go there we are here we are wow that looks fantastic okay so you can add more layers to this you can make this bigger um if you get my online class that shows you 
everything you can do. You know what, Laura? Okay. You and I should do these. We watch these tutorials. Okay. We should have a go, shouldn't we? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you really should. Have Anyhow, so just let me say, we've okay. just got um, Shelley in the kitchen doing a light, doing the filming today. So if you do see Shelley getting the in the camera and you see the odd shh, that is Laura telling Shelley to get out of the way. But while she's here, <laughs> Shelley, just come and show everybody what you've got on your t-shirt. Hey, send me dog pictures. <laughs> Do you know how many dog pictures your Facebook page is going to get? <laughs> I'm hoping they are of nice, fluffy little dogs. Send you <laughs> she has giant dogs. Yeah. <laughs> or hot dogs. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, that looks so pretty. Is that all right? Yes. Can I just say that paste is so easy it's to beautiful. use. It's beautiful. Is it? Do you like it really? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I really please. I, I've always used so Squires. So we are the Squires, only. But this is. Yeah, wonderful. people do have their own favourite, and you yeah. did ask for Squires today. In I fairness, did. I'm not knocking Squires. You know what? Everybody has their own personal favourite, and I sell lots of brands. So I sell Squires if you want Squires. I sell Renshaw if you want Renshaw. Um, we are the only UK stockist for this. Go on, you say it, Laura. Pasta de Flores. Yeah, she gets it right. I, I bet I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> well, it's better than what I say, what pasta de flores. You're saying it right. It uh, is Flores. Pasta de Flores. Yeah. I know, she Flores. says it so much nicer than me, though. I've been telling everyone, have you got that pasta de flores? <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway. Right, that's that one done, okay? We're just going to leave that to dry. Yeah. Uh, and what else are you going to make? Going to make some leaves? Going to make some leaves. Kitty Sue. Yeah. Kitty Sue mould. So, just for those people asking, the cutters, the rose cutters that Verena used, is the FMM Rose Petal Set of Five. Yes, they are. Um, so, they're the cutters, and those are there's five different sizes, basically. Yeah. FMM, if you want a new image, you're more than welcome yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Grace. Listen, Grace. Verena says, Do you need a new image? <laughs> Really simple, easy little rose. Remember, they can, you can go further with those. You can make giant versions, tiny versions. We're just doing a little one for this tiny little wreath today. Uh, the calyx cutters about somewhere as well, so I can yeah. do the back of it, cover it up nice. And we're going to do some. We're going to use some of the. Um, what are the other cutters that we're going to use? I forget what the pink ones. What are they called? Blossom oh, yeah, sugar cutters. Blossom sugar. Blossom sugar. No, I can't think. Blossom sugar. <laughs> Are you going to use a couple of those for your for your wreath as well? Aren't Metal, you? wow! So we've got the fractal colours. I, I like the look of this vivid green. Have you got any other green? Now with the fractal colours, we do sell so three lots of gels. We sell the um, fractal gel, we sell the colour splash gel, and we sell the pro gel. Okay, uh, the fractal gels are all suitable for vegetarians and vegans. So um, I, Brina's not used this before. Last time, uh, no, the very first time you was here. You use the um, colour splash, and color we've got you. You like it, don't you? Yeah, they love it. Yeah, I love it. I love so, pro gels as well. Yeah. Um, oh, hello. Yeah. There we you go. Only need tiny wee bit. Mm. You only need Let's a tiny wee bit. That. Okay, I haven't used this colour before, so mm -hmm. just you know. And the other thing, can I just tell you about this product? Is um, this 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 flower paste is it's beautiful for dusting. Okay, absolutely beautiful for dusting. Yeah, that is a strong, like that was a tiny little yeah. dab. And I want yeah. quite a nice pale green. I don't want it too strong. Oh, oh dear. Um, <laughs> oh dear. And then you have all the dusts for me later on. So I'm going to dust the darker into oh, it yeah. as well. So it'll be lovely, lovely. Oh, I think that green looks nice yeah, like that, actually. Nice. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Sometimes you can have problems colouring in flower paste if the gel or the colour doesn't go with it and it starts looking a bit speckled, but that's mixed in really, really nicely. Good. I like that's what that. we like. I like it a lot. Okay, do we have a wee cornflower pouch? We do. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Here we go. Oops. So this lovely, nice summer that we <laughs> this lovely, nice summer that we have, and I didn't realise just that. <laughs> There's always a bit oops when I'm around, isn't there? Okay, so we've got the mould. Gonna just shove some in here. Oops, I did way too much corn flour. There we are. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you can put a whole load in. You don't have to do one by one. Yeah, you can do bigger okay. ones as well. You can do bigger ones. We need some little dainty ones. I only want these ones with this bit at the bottom. Um, actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can just fill up the whole thing, if you like, because we're going to wire them. Let me grab a little smooth out again, please. Sorry. I really should have just had them sitting out in front of me. Sorry, Katie Sue, if you don't like this, but I just use them to slice off. Well, I think Katie Sue would prefer you did that than get the knife out. Oh, no. So no, many people no. get a knife out. No. And I think Katie Sue just might have a meltdown if you did that. <laughs> no, no, don't no. ever get a knife out for your silicone moulds when you're cutting off your sugar paste. You'll never get it dead flat, flat unless you really know your mould really well. So you'll never get, and there's so many moulds out there that sometimes you do put a bit much in, but don't be tempted. What, what, what Brina's doing with her thumb here now is perfectly correct. And then if you just want to get off any excess, doing what she's just done with the smoother is good. Or your little PME mini palette knife is equally as good. And that's not a knife, it's a palette knife. <laughs> just don't be going, a eh? Sharper. Yeah. You get a sharp sharp clean finish with that okay yeah. so we've got a few in there we're going to do this one and then i'm going to pass this mold over to you tell shelly we're having these summer days you've got some very pretty flowery tattoos haven't you oh, thank you hey eh? no but they are pretty aren't they got quite a lot of flowers yeah so hearts mean everything mm. well i'm not that's not my like a nice flower one i might if i put flowers around it it might look a bit nicer they're just song lyrics. <laughs> I love tattoos. Eh? Love tattoos. Do you know what? I, I've got used to them. I'm not a fan of tattoos at all. My children were told they were never allowed to have them. <laughs> but I am getting used to them. But I like them when they're pretty. So. And I like them when they've been done in an artistic way. I hate them when they're just sort of thrown on. Oh, Here, sorry. there, and everywhere. <laughs> oh, hey, have you got one thrown on? <laughs> everywhere. <Yeah. laughs> They're all thrown on me. <laughs> Just gonna grab those little wire cutters. There they are. Cut up some wires. Yeah, I think my first tattoo. Uh, well, not I think it's exactly what happened. What have tattoo. you got your arm there? <laughs> they must never know. <laughs> <laughs> what was we not know? <laughs> <laughs> secret, Laura. <laughs> secret. Oh, crikey, we're going to have to not let her out the gate until she tells us. <laughs> <Quite a few. laughs> From a book. No. They'll all be asking questions afterwards. What do we I not know? Yeah. Me and Laura are going to find out. My friend has and not the same tell tattoos, you. so. Pardon? My friend has the same tattoo. Hmm. Yeah, my first tattoo was a case of. I was very young. And it says, here's £80, just draw on me. <laughs> And that's exactly what you did. <laughs> Sorry, guys, you need to see this with this little yeah. camera, don't you? But yeah. I need to have it actually close <laughs> no, to my eyes. No, it's all right. No, no, we've got it. Do you want to go in this way? Yeah. Okay, so to wire, <laughs> we've already seen your t shirt, so all good, okay? <laughs> to wire, okay, we've got this little bit here, okay? I'm using a 24G wire here, just sticking it through. It's quite thick, so it's easy enough. Just making sure the wire doesn't go out the back or the front, okay? That's one word. Pop it away to dry. Dipping it in a little bit of glue first. It's funny how we all have different ways to do things, yeah. isn't it? This is that so you can see it? <laughs> this isn't how I usually wire. <laughs> no, I usually use veiners and do a little sausage in the back. Uh. Anyone that's with me, we'll know exactly oh, that looks really cute. Then, what have you done with that? And so, did you do that with the other one? No, no, so that one, yeah, <clears throat> maybe just go pull that in front of the camera so they can see. Okay, so now. wired it through. Oh, 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 oh. oh. No, down, down, down. <laughs> it's because I moved the camera up a bit. Okay. <laughs> I moved the camera so that we could get you at the back. Yeah, just that looks really pretty. That make me dance. <laughs> okay, so yeah. just put a little bit of glue in there and nipped it. Super. I think that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go on here. Here we go. Okay. And do this one. Okay. Nice. So, so why are you doing it not normally how you do it? Because 
I'm using the mold rather than ah, right. my veiners. Oh, let's see. Okay, here we are. Okay. Super. Down again. Oh. Down a bit. <laughs> No, I broke it. Okay, fix that again. There we are. Super. Okay. There we go. Are you okay to do some more, Carol? We just need these to dry. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay. I know when I volunteered, I didn't actually mean it. <laughs> <laughs> these are the polite offer, but you yeah. didn't actually want it to happen. Have I got to name these as well? Have I got to put wires in them as well? Yeah. Or do you want me to show you the other way you do them? I'll show you one. As much as like, it's really easy. Oh, go on then. If you've got those little veiners. And yeah, cutters. but in that cover there. Yeah. Is it those blue veiners yeah. that I gave you before? Yeah. Yeah. They're in that box in front of you with the cable scutters, I think. That one. Can you see it? They've got blue veiners in yeah. there? Yep. There you go. Okay. Yeah, go on. Anything to get me out of it? <laughs> I know, look, I can feel you sweating there. <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking okay. when I said I'll help you out. Right. <laughs> so. You only tell me what ones these are. Cause... So these are FMM veiners and um, cutters. So th these, I think you get a pack of four. Four or five, I think. Yeah, yeah. of different sizes. Here we are. Okay. Much, much easier way. Really. And mm. then you get cutters, different size cutters. And you can buy the, you buy the cutters separate and you buy the veiners separate. Okay. I'm going to be late here as well, sorry. out to about a millimeter thick okay you can use the trex recorder for here it seems the trex worked a lot better for me okay cut it's actually a good way to show people two ways. Yeah. Because some people love cutters and some people love moulds. So it's quite nice. Okay. Make a little sausage. Okay. Take your veiner. Put the sausage in the middle. Take yourself I'd a never little, have done it like that, would you? Take yourself a little wire, okay? Dunk it in a bit of glue. Pop it on the sausage. Actually, you can glue this as well so that sticks to it too. Just making sure everything's central and lined up. Okay? Pop your leaf on it now. Usually sitting down. Yeah, things are always easy when they're sat down. Uh -huh. That's the thing, you poor tutors have a hard time when you come in. You've got to stand up, do everything, haven't you? Pop it on. Take the opposite veiner. Give it a wee squish. A wee bum wiggle. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that bum wiggle. <laughs> okay, so it's veined now and yeah. it's very securely Which wound. Which camera are we on? The middle. This one here. Please. Right. A bit one more down. central. Down a bit, down a bit. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And then that bit oh, we like that idea, don't we? Okay, if you're sitting down, you can do it a lot more central than that. That yeah. was just a wee demo. Pinch it, twist it, do whatever you want with it, let it dry. Oh, I like that. So that's again. how I usually do them. Again. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. What do we okay. think, everyone? Are yeah. we liking that? Yeah, like you say, it's <laughs> nice. It's in different ways of doing it. It is nice because some people um, just prefer a mould, don't they? Yeah. Do Me, I would have always done a mould. Yeah, you could do that with petals, you can do that with leaves. Have I got to do some more? Yeah, please. <laughs> you still got to do them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do next? I'm going to use some of these blossom cutters. <laughs> Yep, yeah, you're going to make some flowers, aren't you? Yeah. Can I grab a little bit of that green, please? Just you can. Just for my back of my rose. Thank you. Mm. So am I doing the cutting out ones? Yeah, because they're easier to wire, aren't they, for you, for you if you're not a wire, wire pro? Yeah? Yeah. I'm just going to find myself a little bit. Not that you're not a wire pro, Karen. <laughs> I'm not a wire pro, believe me. <laughs> I think I might 
do the camera and get Laura on it. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I'm very busy. <laughs> Shelly, give us your camera and you can do it. <laughs> she got a bad back, she can sit down here. <laughs> so this is a little calyx for the back of that rose. Just going to soften down those edges a little bit with a ball tool, make it a little bit more mm -hmm. delicate. Flip it round. Okay. A little bit of glue. You'll need a glue there, Carol, as well for these wires. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pop it in the middle. Could have done with a bigger one, but hey, I'm sure it will be fine. Yeah. A bigger calyx or a bigger rose? Bigger calyx. Okay. Just covers it up a little bit. Makes it a little bit neater at the back. Okay? Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, that is so pretty. Yeah. Yeah? Really just finishes it off. Yeah, it does. And we'll have our gorgeous leaves and our little display and bouquet. Okay, nice. so we're going to make some filler flowers now with this blossom stuff and I am busting to get my hands on some cool colours. So I'm going to do a pale claret, get a little bit more of this flower paste. I'll we'll do a few of these. I'd be wondering why I'm all quiet. <laughs> Concentrating. <laughs> Concentrating, yeah. <laughs> These come in a set, don't they, Carol? Yeah, you can buy them either as multi-sets, which is that particular cutter and um, and uh, veiner, or you can buy it as a whole set, and it's called uh, Creative Studio, isn't yes, it? it is. So these are by um, Blossom Sugar Art. Is it, is it Blossom yeah. Sugar Art? Yeah. yeah. Is it? <laughs> so They're really the popular memory, because so. the because they do come as a cutter and a veiner yeah. um, they're, and they're beautiful shapes as well they're so pretty when they're, when they're veined they are absolutely stunning so I'll do a bit of a pale claret because I'm going to do a bit of dust with it later on as well and you can get this colour deeper if you add a bit more you've got some more wire mm -hmm. and cutter thank you all right. Thank you, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much. Well, this will stop me interrupting, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. You'll have to ask questions now, Laura. It's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> so just to recap, um, anything that you've missed this evening, or if you can't watch the whole Facebook Live, you can catch up on Facebook once we've finished because the whole, whole live tutorial will be pinned to the top of the page. Um, it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well. It's normally by midweek. And then you'll see these um, one minute videos as well that Barina, so all the really important bits that Barina's done um, are being filled by Shelley. So they're all squished into a one minute video for you as well. Just so if there's anything in particular that you want to recap on, they'll be squished into a one minute video so you can watch it back at any time. So I've cut out a few here. Can you pass me the glue and the brush? There we are. Okay. So what have I got here? A hydrangea, petunia, a little petunia and a... What's that one? A round one. A round one. It's a round one. <laughs> Is it not the blossom? It's no. No. It's no. the fleur. Fleur. Okay, I think it's the fleur. Not floors, no. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I did go to the doctor to see if I was okay because I can't seem to remember anything. <laughs> it's just told me I'm very stressed and got a lot in my mind. Pop that into your veiner. <laughs> you squish. Oh! I know, it's so yeah, usable, so isn't pretty. it? I don't have that one at home. Oh, do you not? <laughs> You're not going to have one either. I'm not giving it yet. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a good girl. I did not feel that one before. Uh, I did say to you, do you want that one? Lovely. They're so pretty. 
I've got to pick it out now because I use Trex. Whatever, whatever I've got to pick it out with. I usually have a knife or something lying around. Yeah. So what did there you say when I press them together? The bum wiggle. The bum yeah. wiggle. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay. So you take that out without wrecking it, preferably, and pop it into the foam tray. Okay. And that should set a little bit dry for us later on. Okay. Here we are. Now your petunia. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay. I won't show you my first one. <laughs> Is that a wee squish? This one is my favourite. I use this all the time. Little petunias. Take a little bit of your comfort. There we go. Pop that in the tray as well to dry. Ranger, there we go. Oh, we haven't got anybody after you, have you, Brayden? <laughs> I still get nervous when I hear police cars. <laughs> we are on the um, hospital route. So I do laugh when we go, it's always when we go live, yeah. there's always one. But I think what it is, you don't notice when you live here during the day. And then it's only when you go live and you suddenly can hear every noise, yeah, you can hear everything, everything can't you? Yeah. So that car seems to be a little bit big for my rainer, but it's okay, we'll just pull bits away from it. We have smaller hydrangeas cars anyway, don't we? So we'll just... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to use that, but I'll try it anyway. Okay, a little petunia. Do you want the smaller cutter? Uh, no, I have lots of petunias, thank you. I like them. <laughs> oh, nice, that oh that is lovely I really like that so when um, you hear Barina saying she's just popping it on a foam tray I'll get her to if you can when you finish just move that white yeah. foam tray over for us sure. um, we have got these on the Sugar and Crumbs website so they're, this is the, what they're absolutely perfect for so just to pop your flowers in there leave them to dry for a few hours or overnight and um, I've got one at home and mine's absolutely covered in glitter and coloured dusts but um, just because I'm so lazy and I don't even take them out before I dust my flowers. <laughs> um, but these are on the Sugar and Crumbs website and they're absolutely essential when you're doing flowers because it's so much easier. Just pop yeah. them in there and you can leave them. And there's loads of holes, you know, sort of dimples on there for you to use. I know people use like egg boxes and spoons and things like that, yeah. but they are just perfect. Brilliant for these little filler flowers, yeah. I really like them. All my trees are covered in dust. And yeah. dust are, you sure, are you sure you wanted me to do these? Well, I'm looking <laughs> at you going, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> the fact that I can't see is one thing. <laughs> should, I, should I mention that? So if anyone who's missed it, Marina's asked Carol to make some more leaves. <laughs> and... Um, Struggling. Carol's, yeah, well, I was going to be polite and say you're having a good go. Um, you know, mm. time. Right, let's try. be supportive and empowering. You I've know. just never been a delicate type of girl. Always been sort of like a bit of a heavy handed, throw it together girl. So I'm going to make some more of these flowers. I'm going to do some white um, so that you can see. But they're like dusted later on as well. They're looking brilliant, Carol. Are they? Yeah, they're all right. Don't know. They'll do. I think you're going to have to dust them and make them look brilliant. They are fantabulous. I'm going to make more of these little petunias because I just love them. They're so pretty. I think you'll have to to add these leaves. <laughs> okay. Well, we only need a few, so if we can put, pick, you know, cherry pick. That's brilliant, Carol. <laughs> I don't know whether to have my glasses on or my glasses off. <laughs> I don't think I've realised just how blind I am. <laughs> okay, I think I have a new addiction, making tiny petunias. <laughs> oh, blossom, not blossom, what do you call it? Daisy. Yeah. Okay, I have to do a daisy. These are so easy, these cutters, aren't they? Could you yeah. not put me on them instead? <laughs> just 
making it easy for myself. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Line it up with the little petals in the veiner as best you can. Okay. Here we are. I'm just going to go for it. These are the Blossom Sugar Art range, and you can buy them in a set, or you can buy the style of flowers individually, whatever your preference is. Um, again, just to recap, the Pasta de Flores is the flower paste that Farina is using this evening, and it's natural in colour. It's not dyed, so it's not a bright white, but it does take on colour really well. So earlier in the live, Farina showed you how to use some, some of the Fractal Gel colours, um, and then she has um, coloured some of it with the Claret um, and the um, Light... Um, Vivid green, wasn't it? That we used green, for yes, I really yeah. like that green. It's nice, it's really nice for spring. Flowers, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely think. colour. Yeah, um, and then you can also um, dust them as well. So we'll show you how to dust as well. Okay. I really am. Um, if you don't have this little petunia one, you have to get it. It's just so nice, <laughs> it's so pretty. I mean, I have the big one and I've always liked that, but this is just. So pretty and so delicate. I love them. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you how to shut Carol up. <laughs> Give her a job. So yeah, Carol is here with us in case you've not heard her for a little while. Um, she's just doing a little job for Verena, which is making some more of the leaves. And um, Verena's going to cover a dummy cake for us um, and use the patchwork cutter's extra large lettuce, which we've got in stock on the website. Um, and then actually make um, a gorgeous wreath with the letter and these flowers that she's doing with some filler flowers as well. And it'll be absolutely beautiful when it all comes together. I think it's just another perfect way to show you of the things that you've already got, like the cutters and, you know, the, you might even have the patchwork cutters um, letters as well at home. So it's just another way of using them um, and adapting the designs for things that you've already got in the cupboard. So I think it's a brilliant way of just showing you how to do different things. You know, that little pot would go a long way. Yeah, it really does. Oh, it does, yeah. yes. I know people have been amazed how far it goes. So what's it called, Laura? <laughs> Go on, Verena. <laughs> it's Sweet Colour Pasta de Flores. Okay, <laughs> so we are the UK distributor. If any of you suppliers want to stock it, just contact me and I can sell it to you at trade. Otherwise, if you just want to buy it for yourself, you can buy it straight off our website. Um, it's actually fantastic. It rolls very, very thin and um, it's a natural white colour, okay? So it's not um, white, it's just the, the colour of the actual sugar, natural. And it comes in four sizes. It comes in 100 gram, 250, 500 and a kilo. But as Barina has just said there, it goes a very long way. Also, I've had this paste out all the time. I've not put it back in a bag. Doesn't dry out very fast when it's in a block. So it does dry out fast when you when you made it into the flowers, but when you've got it in a block, you don't have to keep worrying about putting it under a glass or anything like that. You can use it and you can actually rework it if you make a mistake. For the letter now, we're going to use another flower paste. Yeah. We're going to use Squire's Sugar Florist. This one should be yeah. 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 Florist paste by Squire's. Um, I know this set's really firm and um, it's brilliant for flowers as well, but I want to use it for this letter. You need to use it for the letter. I think with the pasta de flowers is perfect for flowers, mm -hmm. but because we want this letter to stand up and be a bit firmer. Yeah, yeah. I want it to set yeah. solid. In the time that we're here. <laughs> so you could use the pasta de flowers, but you probably just need a bit longer time yeah. for a thicker. I'm going to colour it as well. I want this letter to be a colour. What colour shall I have? I feel like a kitty in a sweetie shop here. Well, what colour are you going to do your flowers? 
Are you going to do pinks and lilacs or what? Yeah, like that's like a pink and then I'm going to do like a deep claret in these ones. That's going to yeah. stay white and then we've got that pale green. So we need something to so match it's quite up, don't we? springy. What about like mm. orange or something? Yeah, why not? Let's go with it. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very vibrant orange, I will tell you. Orange? The orange is really vibrant. Yeah, I'm going to do orange because I like orange. Yeah, okay. That'd be nice. Okay. Oh, it's colouring before I even open it. It's brilliant. Yeah. No, it does. Oh, right, okay. Lovely. <laughs> that, that is because I have students in class. I know, <laughs> sorry. Every weekend we have students in. And every weekend they use the colours and then they put them back. You've used a load there. That's going to be yeah, psychedelic orange. I want <laughs> crazy orange. Did, to be fair, you don't need to with that. You're going to need a bit. So every every week we have students in. And some, you know when they're tidying up and putting away... I don't always think to go and check mm. all the tubes. I know, but like when I do classes, I always blame the students too. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is then. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, you're so tired after a class, you just, because they've put them away, yeah. it's only when you come to open them again, you think, oh my God, yeah. I need to yeah. wipe them all down. And they always squirt it and then go and put the lid straight on oh, with it all yeah. on, don't they? Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. I want a little bit more orange. This is a little bit pastel. Mm, give it a chance. And I didn't really squeeze it did on. You... I literally cleaned that. Oh, did you? Top right. like I didn't. Right. Well, clean the rest of the top, then I don't have to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick it inside the lid. <laughs> How is this going to look? Again? Do you want no, as orange like as your color. nails? I like it. Hmm? You want... Oh, you, you happy with what you've got yeah. now, have you? Oh, I want... Yeah, I like it because it looks nice against yeah, these colours. Yeah, it does. Just put it against those ones and I think that looks nice. So. Yeah, be perfect. Have we got a bag for this now? <clears throat> or where's the top? The top is... I'll get you open. There it is. I mean, Carol, we can't find things in the right kitchen. It's right on top of the... Let alone your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so I'm going to roll this out uh, to about three millimetres thick on corn flour this time. So handy little pouches. I've liked these every time I've been here, haven't oh, I? Yeah. Here we are. Roll it out. So there's lots of, is there, I think I've seen a few people saying hello, haven't they, Laura? Yeah, there's so loads, of, loads of familiar names, hello. and that's what we love about our viewers, because have they got, do join us Have we got the week. Irish contingency with us? Oh yeah, there's lots of arena <laughs> fans. <laughs> Scottish, since like I am Scottish. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. I'm Scottish, are <laughs> But I'm she lives Bosnia, in Ireland. In Bosnia as well. I mean, I'm those two. I'm Where just, are you? I'm exotic. Oh, are you? Where are you from? Croatia, Bosnia. Oh, are you? I'm from that end of the world. Right. Arena. Yeah. So, yes, yes, because yeah. it is that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we've got. So where does all that come from? Father we need, side, we need mother both. side. Yeah, both. Both. Right. And then I grew up in Edinburgh. <laughs> of course. And right. then moved to Northern Ireland. Right, okay, then. Because those will be next year. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got this bee from Patchwork. Mm -hmm. They did get me a uh, Barina cakes, whole load of them. <laughs> In case she wanted to go mad and make loads yeah. of them. And then I realised the size. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, how about just a bee then? We have to thank Karen for that. We were in the warehouse earlier today, and, uh, and Barina's going, what should I make for you then? So we said to Karen, Karen... What have we not demoed? And Karen's going, oh, you know what would be great? Do those letters. And I went, yeah, you can make Brina's, Brina's cakes. <laughs> and she saw the size of the letters, Brina, but I don't freaking think so. Maybe oh, not. Because <laughs> okay. they make a hoop and put a bee in the middle. Now, <laughs> these patchwork cutters, I have some of them at home. You can use this to emboss it into your icing. You can use it to cut it out if you don't want to pay for an acrylic topper. If yeah. you don't want to pay for a, pay for a card topper. You can cut this out, sparkle the life out of it, and use it as a topper. Yeah. They're brilliant for weddings as well because they do an and yeah. too. So you can yes, do, you do the you know, sign, the, yeah. Or, oh, yes, you know the ones that everybody was raving about for a while? The loved ones? Yeah, yeah. we sell those as well. Yeah. Brilliant for that too. We sell too. those as well. I told you I was going to knock that over. Yeah. <laughs> two. Boy, so as a topper, you would just do the same thing. You do it thicker, don't you? Or do you do I'm two? Doing it thicker, okay. Or do you, you do, do two of them and oh, then? That's a good idea. I didn't think of that. Because Marion, Marion, she does two. Then she puts the wire down the down the centre. Yeah. And then she um, lets one dry with the wire in, doesn't yes. she? 
She lets the other one dry and then she glues them together. Oh, I'm going to be lazy and do one. One thick one. Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice to do a different way, isn't it? Yeah. Take a long That's time a smoothing idea. your cake, won't you? So we can have time for it to dry. I like that. Yeah, because we're going to have a bung oven on as well. Oh, are we? Why are we going to do in the oven? Because the heat's going to dry it. Oh, is it? So heat dries. Can I leave you in charge of I... that? <laughs> <laughs> I use ovens <laughs> to dry my sugar flours because I am a little bit last minute and a bit scatty. So I would use the oven to dry my sugar flours um, or even a fan heater because heat dries them and then you take them away from the heat and the cold hits them and they just dry really nice and quick. So if you are running about last minute like I usually do, you can try that. We do have a lot of people um, who bake their boards. Yeah. I, I've started doing it recently and it's amazing. It's like a just ingenious idea. Yeah. I know, but I, I, I remember Gwen Powell being here once going, oh, Carol, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> she said, she said, I'm going to bake the board. And I've never baked a board. So she put it in the oven. We all walked away. Come out, melted it oh, to death. No. <laughs> nice and crispy. <laughs> oh, no. I thought, oh, maybe That'd somebody should come on and give us a lesson <laughs> on how to bake a board. <laughs> Right, I'm just using the end of a brush to push this out because I've made it quite thick, okay? Um, usually I would let this set a little bit and then it would just pop out. But because of time and we're live. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, I've got some beautiful marks in it as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've made it really unique. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm actually going to go with it and I'm actually going to enjoy those marks. I'm going to, yeah, that's pretty. I don't know how I've done it. Oh, yeah, it's those. Actually, I quite like that. Right. We'll get those if you do. Yeah, I was going to say, it's in that house. Yeah. And they're not supposed yeah, to be like on there like that. Yeah. Do you know what? Um, Amy Sweet Sam's had some ball tools, didn't she? And she. Yes. Met, are you going yeah. to gonna paint over that? Over this? Yeah, you're going to paint it. You're going to leave it that colour. You're going to lustre it up, did you say? Or are you just going to leave do. it like that? I could do if you've got a lustre. Because she's got some little um, ball tools. Yeah. That she um, makes it like a metal effect. Or do yeah. you want to leave it as it is? We'll see how we go. Oh, we'll see how we go. End. We'll wing it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pop that away to dry. It's actually quite sturdy. It's mm -hmm. fine. Stick it behind you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's it for those. I didn't need all that, so I can put that away now. Right. And that's squares, isn't it? Yeah. So right. I'll put that in a what are we bag. at next then? Um, Tidy up and ice this cake. Yes, that would be a good idea. Are we okay to put this stuff near an oven? Do you want it, where, so how do you want it to go in the oven? It. Just on the door. Right, if okay we then. Yeah, open the oven, turn Just it on. on the door. And the last time I tried to use your oven, I burnt the cupcakes, so. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on then. Let's put this in the oven. Are we okay on the first half? Yeah. Long time. So just to recap, a um, few well, products well, that Barina's used tonight. What We've always right? had in stock, but not actually used them on a Facebook Live. So everything you've seen on the on the live this evening can be found at sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And um, if you search by brand or use the search bar at the top of the page, um, you can also use the Facebook Live wish list, which is in the top right hand corner. And then everything, just all you need to do is look for this month, look for Barina, and then everything will be there. And um, like I say, if you've missed any of the Facebook Live, you can head over to the Facebook page when we've finished. Um, excuse the noise in the background, we've just got the oven on with the flowers setting. Sorry. Yes, sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you miss any of the live, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page. Um, and then you can also catch up on YouTube. Yeah. So if you've not, not left you. If, if you've not um, watched anything back on YouTube previously, the easiest way to find them, um, just search for Sugar and Crumbs with Nifty Nuzzles and all of our previous Facebook lives are there. So it's not just the most recent ones, it's ones from quite a couple of years ago and um, loads of demos and tutorials um, and it's brilliant to look back on things that you might have forgotten or you might have missed um, over the months that we've do been doing it. Um, and the one minute videos are on there as well, so it's not just the full tutorial or the full Facebook live, it's the one minute videos that um, correspond with it as well. And just a little tip, when you want to save your bags, either put them in a Ziploc bag, but if you haven't got a Ziploc bag, get yourself a nice thick piping bag and then just pop it in and tie a knot on it. And if you want to, you can put a little sticker on there with the date that you've tied it in so you know what it is. And like, you know, we'll put on there squares. Watch me take it out next time and go, which one's this? So we'll put a little note on there and go squares 
and put today's date on so that you know. And then I keep it nice and fresh. Right. Around here. Hands are all clean. I'm ready to put on the top. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll not worry about that. Do I need to rotate it or anything? No. No, that'll just dry up. Yeah, that's the one. Is it 120 in the oven or 100? Uh, yeah, 150 would do. Just, it's more the hot air with the right. fan. Hitting it to dry up. I'm going to foam pads for Ina. I hope not. <laughs> I have been known to cause trouble. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to cover this dummy. So we're using a dummy instead of a real cake just for because none of us want to have cake to eat, do we? No. no. We're all on diets. We have enough <laughs> to yes, eat. I know. I know, I know. Week in, week out. And our Easter eggs. Eh? And the fans Easter eggs as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. We had plenty. <laughs> right, so we're going to use sugar paste and select. Select, select island. Select island. Good. I was going to say sugar paste select, and I'm like, it's not called select. I couldn't <laughs> have to stop. Sugar paste select. It's called Select Island Sugar Paste. Yeah. And how long have you been using it? I've been using it since before the start of the year. Mm. Since 2018 time. Oh, have you? Right, oh, okay then. Yeah. Right, so you've been using it a while then. So I hadn't basically. heard of it until they contacted me yeah. and asked me would I give it a go. So I was like, yeah, all right then, let's give it a go. And then, and then of course, when I messaged you last time you were here, and I said to you, because being, being over in Ireland, I said to Breen, have you heard of this select island? She goes, yeah, we use it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I sent you a wedding cake that I made of it as well. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's lovely. Okay, so it comes in that big. Is it five kilo? Five yeah. kilo. Yeah. 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 All the way from Irish land. <laughs> there we go. Pop it out to the bag. Again, this isn't too white, so mm. this is lovely for wedding cakes, I think, because I don't like doing ivory because the cake will like is smoky if it's too ivory mm -hmm. and then I don't like the, making it pure white unless they want pure white so this gives me a nice delicate off white but it colours well as well so you can colour it whatever colour you want I'm just going to do it white today I was wondering, there. would that be big enough? Or do you want a big knife? Big one, please. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to measure some out. So what am I doing here? Six you inch cake to weigh it? by about six inch tall. Yeah, I have scales here. Yeah. Yeah. There's something I've organised. Yeah, I did good. Very well, I'm quite impressed. I did good. Right. So, I'm going to go with about, I think, 800 grams. I mean, I don't often cover dummies, so I'm not sure exactly how much, but I'm going to go with 800 grams. Mm -hmm. Anything you don't use, you can. I'm on my tippy toes here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suddenly grown. No. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. <laughs> so, I'd say you could put all your weight on it. <laughs> yeah. I've got 900 there, that'll do me. Now, if it's winter, if it's cold, if this has been stored somewhere cold, if it's solid, bung it in the microwave for 10 seconds, mm -hmm. and that makes it nice and soft. And yeah, not the whole with. five kilos, just no, what you need. Please. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> be, let's be specific then. Not the whole five kilos, just the bit that you're doing, the bit that you're using. Nice out the way in case anybody gets annoyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and now we're just going to work it and knead it a little bit with some tricks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them a little bit about sugar paste on how, what you should knead it with and why? I remember when I was a young girl, and it's only since I've come into cake decorating, 
I remember my grandma showing me you, you slather your rolling pin with loads of icing sugar no. or flour I'm and going then to until talk. it's absolutely covered. The whole board's yeah. covered yeah. in the stuff, yeah. isn't it? I'm going to talk a little bit about that as I'm doing it because uh, a lot of people use icing sugar and I don't like using icing sugar for rolling my sugar paste out on at all because icing sugar melts with moisture and your hands have a lot of moisture so when you're using it to rub the sugar paste with the icing sugar it's getting a little bit sticky under your hands so i like corn flour and not too much corn flour because it's going to create air bubbles just enough for it not to stick and um, kneading it i always knead with trex keeps it nice and pliable nice and soft and um, also brings it all together nicely because when you first take it out of the box it looks like this mm -hmm. We need to knead that and bring it back together. Um, when you're kneading, a lot of people will grab the sugar paste, pull it over like this, and then you're leaving this big giant hole, air bubble in here. So you're gonna get air bubbles throughout your whole icing if you do that. When you're kneading it, you've gotta keep it nice and tight, okay? So you're like massaging it. That's a good point. Do you know point. what? I've never noticed it because I'm one of those. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, you get a bit excited. I think I am. They, you know, they're going, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think I must think I'm rolling bread or something then. Yeah. Not that I've ever maybe rolled bread. It's that technique of pulling it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's a good tip. Well done. I would never have thought of that, yeah. but that, it makes Just sense, doesn't it? Really, really tight. I'm not folding anything here. I'm like pushing it, rolling it over. Pushing it, rolling it over. So you're just kneading it nice and tight, not rolling. Anything. See how that's coming together now? Yeah. None of those ripped bits or anything. Yeah. I really go, oh, I've got ear in my face. <laughs> now, I don't go to the gym because this is my workout. You <laughs> don't need to. You should see my biceps. <laughs> I did actually go for a PT session the other week. She says I've got a strong core. Yeah. Probably because of this. I think yeah. they would give up if it turned up to <laughs> I mean, I've got one foot forward here. <laughs> Get it all. <laughs> think if I went to the gym, they'd go, oh my God, what are we going to do with this one? Right, that's kneading in. You don't want to over knead either. Okay. So when people are going on about that, that it's cracked, it's got elephant skin, because, you know, my understanding is it's ice and sugar. Yeah, so ice and sugar will dry what is the problem? You. Maybe you've overworked it. Uh, maybe you work very slow. If you work very slow, you can't use sugar paste that dries too fast mm. and a few brands are very fast drying mm. which works for cake bakers who are turning over a lot of cakes mm. and they work very fast if you don't maybe select would be a good one for you because it doesn't dry as fast you see that's quite mm. oh yeah nice yeah. and soft still and um, am i okay to get somebody to wet this for me under the yeah, tap I do. and i don't know if you have some grease proof so yeah. i can just pop it there yeah and a pizza cutter Oh, and a partridge in a pear tree. Pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to get yourself a strip of this? What have we done with it? Um, Easy. No. Yep. There it is. I thought it was up there before. Thank you. So you want that? I'll work with. So the sugar paste that Marina has used, uh, is going to use to cover the dummy cake is the Select Island. This is the white and it comes in a five kilo um, tub. We also sell it in baby blue and baby pink and they're in a smaller quantity. Are they two or two and a half? They're two and a half, I think. Can you see? No, they're twos. Twos? Yeah, they're twos. Oh. And they're five kilos. Oh, hang on. What's the white in? Five. Five. Oh, right. I got yeah, it. Right. So five's oh, right. in white. So five's and in white. And the colours are in twos. And the colours are in twos. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we've got baby pink, baby blue in a smaller quantity, and then white in the five kilos. And they're all available on Sugar and Crumbs, UK. And That's nice. It is a really nice colour. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, that is nice. They're lovely. Blue is probably one of the hardest colours to mix, I think, so it's good that that's a pre-mixed one. Yeah. And also blue colours seem to dry out sugar paste a lot. Yeah, that is true, actually. They really dry yeah. out, so I do prefer blue, pre-coloured. 
it's been really popular since we started stuffing it on the website, yeah. if I'm honest. It's, it's actually, it's, it's hard, it's been hard when we get a new product because as much as we rave about it and we've used it in the kitchen and say it's good, obviously people need to build up a trust for it. Um, and now we've started selling it and we've had it for quite a few months. It's been become really popular. What do you need? The puffy, oh, here it is. <laughs> Because you're looking at them, it's got a little bag. Can I just say, <laughs> would you like a coffee? They've got biscuits, <laughs> cola, cola, <laughs> pink lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We've got to keep our energy up, Rena. I know, I see that. Yeah. This could be sitting here eating a bit nice. <laughs> But well, when you gave me a bit of pinch, I thought, oh, you know, I love a bit of that. <laughs> right, so I put a little bit of corn flour. These dusting pouches are really good because when you have corn flour and you just chuck a big chunk of it onto your work surface, you're patting it about, you get lots of corn flour. Ha <laughs> ha. Your pockets. <laughs> it's your karma. Mm. You get a lot of corn flour in your pockets, uh, which you don't want. But these pouches are brilliant because you can just spread it out nice and even. Do a little bit on the top as well. Get yourself a nice rolling pin and roll out, okay? So I do a little bit at a time. So I'm kind of really just showing you how to cover a cake here. Nice and neat, as easy as possible. And we want to get this, keep this as round as possible. So just for time, obviously it's a live and we want to get us through as much as we can. And Farina is covering a dummy cake for us this evening. So um, it's going to be a round dummy cake. And like I said, we've um, already shown you the filler flowers and things like that. That's going to go um, with the patchwork cutters, extra large letter, um, into a gorgeous flower wreath. Yeah. Thank Now, luckily, I barely have any air bubbles, but I do have a couple because I'm only human. So we're going to get them out with a little pin. Um, I think we'll probably get a normal pin here, but if you can get your hands on acupuncture needles. Oh, I don't have any of that. <laughs> not, that not that well equipped. <laughs> get your hands on acupuncture needles. Oh, this is lovely. I really like the way this rolls out. It's just lovely, smooth, silky. Okay. And that's rolled out about enough for my life. See when I lift it there, it's not tearing. Yeah. Okay. Will that do? That'll do me nicely, thank you. I've got to that, otherwise, huh. what we're going to do. <laughs> Yeah, so Verena is actually very kindly coming along today to show you how to use her smoothers. They will make a difference to your cake, believe me. They're actually really very, very good. We've been selling them for a long time now, Verena, haven't we? Over two years. Yep, we have. And um, okay. they're fantastic. If you haven't got a set, you definitely want to buy a set. She is decorating a dummy. It's actually harder to decorate a dummy than it is a normal cake. Um, but we're doing that for time. Okay. Yeah. Can we see that? Yeah, we can now. <laughs> I am probably going to have to hold this dummy with... With your body. My body. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a dummy. Okay. I wish I could get mine on like that, don't you? Okay. Aye. Now, first thing I want to do is just smooth out the top. Get it. See, that's hanging. It's chilling and it's mm -hmm. not ripping on a sharp edge dummy. Mm. Okay. So smooth out the top, the first thing I want to do is very gently with my butterfly fingers, just smooth that edge to make sure that while I'm pulling and unfolding these pleats here, 
that it doesn't cut off the edge, okay? It doesn't tear, that's not torn, there's no elfin skin. You can get as close to that as you want with that camera because I have confidence it's not gonna tear. Yeah. But that's great that because okay. how many times you go put it on a dummy yeah. and the, and just, the dummy just rips it, doesn't it? Right, yeah. okay, I'm moving it here. Mm -hmm. Right, so when we're covering the rest of this, a lot of people have this habit because you're grabbing an icing of going like this and pulling it, okay? You don't pull, all you're doing is opening the plate and smooth. I might need a bit of kitchen roll here, sorry. I think that's where I'm going wrong. Me too. Yeah. I, I, that's exactly what I do, is I pull. I lift it out. Bottom, lift it out and smooth it. Go on, show us again then, because okay. I think I've just realised where I'm going wrong. Right, just very gently pat, okay? And you're not going right to the bottom of the cake first. That's how you end up getting a ruffled bag at the end and yeah. you don't know what to do. I recognise that as well. So a little bit of, <laughs> at a time, okay? How many of you not recognise yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have plenty of people going, ah! <laughs> Rather than using a turntable, I have more control with a bit of grease proof paper because it can turn a little bit at a time. Ah, that's why okay. you went to the grease proof. I did wonder before, oh, I, I did, did wonder. wonder. Mm -hmm. Grease proof paper, much, much easier, okay? So you see, I'm not going, I'm, I'm not worried too much about getting it all done at once and just taking my time. Unfold, smooth, unfold, smooth, just a little bit with a couple of fingers. Unfold smooth, go back a little bit, unfold smooth. Now this takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it, okay? Oh, I can smell them cookies. Oh. <laughs> we always have to have snacks to keep us yeah. going. Mm. We do. We will share when we're finished, promise. <laughs> Generally, because we don't get our tea. Yeah. <laughs> on a Monday is a bit of a mad day, isn't it? it we run around like a mad day Monday. Idiot. It's always been a busy day in general. Mondays are always busy start of the week. Yeah. Because you've got your weekend orders, you're trying to get ready for Facebook Live, yeah. get your tutor in, run to the airport like we did to get <laughs> Marina, drag her around the warehouse <laughs> to see what she wants, drag her here. Yeah. Get set up. Lots of enquiries, lots of <laughs> questions. And we do try our very, very best to get round to everybody. And be here for eight o'clock with a yeah. smile. Yeah, and still be here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Marina, you wouldn't think she'd been dragged all round the warehouse today, would you? Yeah. Got you a cost of coffee though, didn't we? Been up since half four. <laughs> yeah, you have got bless you, haven't you? <laughs> First time I was here, I wasn't used to that much hard work. Mm. Poor John had to go out and get me sushi every mm. five o'clock, didn't he? <laughs> right, so a little bit of time. How far is it to the airport from where you are? 40 minutes. Mm. You have your lovely car there at the airport? Yeah. Yeah. I literally just made my flight car. Pardon? <laughs> you know how I'm really organised? Yeah. Yeah, I just made it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm starting to stick a bit to my paper, just going to go for it now. Get yourself, not that I'm saying your greaseproof paper is no good cattle, but get yourself a really good firm greaseproof paper. Actually, you know those silicone mats for baking? Oh, no, you why didn't tell me yeah. about them? You have them. We sell them, They're yeah. brilliant. They're brilliant. Use that, plus it's reusable so you're using less mm -hmm. paper. Dummy, by the way, this it is one of yours. No, no, it is. Yeah, average ones. No, it's a bigger one. What's that? Is that a six inch high one? I don't know, it's quite tall though. Mm. But covered really, really, really well, actually. The Dummies thing is, if you are hard to cover, yeah, yeah, and they're very light and they're always moving around, aren't yeah. they? No, but to be fair, I'm well impressed. Yeah, you think you're taking a long time, so I don't know how you normally do it, but I think that's pretty rapid for me. It is. Oh right, you wanted a pizza custard, I haven't got one. So you're going to have a knife, is it okay? Yeah. Okay. I did used to have a pizza cutter, I'm just going to root through my tools. What do you cut pizza with? Hey? What do you cut pizza with? I don't eat them. <laughs> Knife, why I go and look for a piece 
weeks ago. Right. I probably found it by well, the time be, the trim it's it's cut, so right. Just gotta trim this. Now when you trim your icing, um maybe around the other side if I'm when you trim your icing, don't go right up to the cake or right up to the dummy. Give it a millimetre or two, okay? Because then we can make this so neat and flush that we don't even need a ribbon around the bottom of the cake. Much easier with a pizza cutter, you have a bit more control. Okay. <laughs> it was on my list. I've got one of these. Was one of these do? It was on my list. Yeah. And she says, I've got one of that. One of them do? No. Fine, I'm nearly done. I'm happy. I just use what's around me. I'm good. The problem is, I didn't read the list till I picked you up from the airport. <laughs> for my drum in a bit. You can always fold this up, re-knead it and reuse it, okay? Don't need to waste anything. It's quite a blob there. That's enough to cover another cake. Pardon? That's enough to cover another cake. Yeah. There's in there. Need a drum with that. Um, I'm going to grab a bit more grease for the paper. Nice clean piece. Do you need any more sugar paste? Uh, not at the moment. I'm going to use that bit for the drum. Oh, are you right? Brilliant. Yeah. So I don't need to cover it up yet, then? No. Right, good. Okay. okay. I'm just going to grab a bit of wet kitchen roll, uh, just to clean my hand off, because these grip smoothers um, won't grip if your hands are dirty or covered in corn flour. So they really need to be clean. The grip and your hand. So, yeah, just gonna get wet kitchen. Mm -hmm. So, the smoothers that Verena's about to show you are the Cakes by Verena smoothers. Um, so, they're in a set from Sugar and Crumbs. So, we sell them as a whole set of nine. Um, and I'll get Verena to kindly run through the different shapes and sizes that's in them as well, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, just because they're not just all one size and, and they are very different to your normal standard hard plastic smoothers that you can purchase. Which I will do straight after getting some sharp edges because no this problem. is drying on me. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So I need to get it before it dries. So we've got one at the top, okay? You could put it so that it's got a corner, okay? Hanging off. Then you have one for the side. Whatever you do, don't hold this smoother with your thumb and then your fingers like that. That defeats the oh purpose. Oh my God, I missed that because I'm zoomed in on the cake, sorry. Okay. Don't hold it like... Don't hold it with your <laughs> thumb here. And then your yes. fingers here and go like that. That defeats the purpose yes. of the smoother, okay? The purpose of the smoother is that you can hold it flush against the cake, okay? And use the cake shape to flex, yep. okay? Um, giving you a flush level side and a nice level top as well, okay? So, you've got this little window and all these destructions are on the back. Um, so, you've got this little window between your thumb and your index finger. And you are focusing on this little part here, this edge. You have your Get A Grip Flexi Smoother. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, it's a dummy, it's flying. Okay, as soon as you get that sharp edge, you can move on to the next part. So you're working on a little area at a time. See, it's drying on me now. It's taking forever, but that's okay. I'm going to still get a nice, pretty finish. It really does show, doesn't it? Yeah, you can it see does. just as you're turning the cake, the difference between the one half you've done, yeah, and, and you know, and the rest of it. It really does make a massive difference. And um, I'm doing it right here. Um, Do you want me to move? No, 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 it's fine, don't worry. Can you bring we will go along. Yeah. Yeah? Then we'll back. I'm getting a little lip here, but that's okay. I'm just going to smooth that out. It's just because it's a dummy, and I have literally no give or flex in a dummy, okay? Also move the top one just 
sharpen things up a little bit so I can see. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, got it. Thank you. Three cameras on you, Marina. Do you feel like a film star? Hey, cameras everywhere. Hey. Yeah. So anyway, you've got a great crowd watching tonight. Wow. Thoroughly enjoying this. Sugar paste is one of those things that people always need to get their head around, isn't yes, it? Yes, definitely. You know, it's yeah. one of those things like, they get really excited when they get a really nice smooth edge and a sharp edge as well. Yeah. Only thing I, say, I would say is when it's on, don't dilly-dally, get on with that sharp edge because yeah. once your sugar paste starts to dry, because we've got the oven going on in here, we have some dry air coming yeah. out, so it'll be drying up the sugar paste a little bit quicker than usual. I like that, dilly dally. I've yeah. not heard that for a long time. <laughs> dilly on, dally. Yeah. My mum used to say that to me, dilly dally. Stop dilly dallying around. I didn't even realise I was saying it, but you know? my little boy, another thing I say is my little boy said to me, I'm trying to get something, he says, today would be nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I say. <laughs> So the, bre the smoothers that Brina's using, we've said this several times now, these are um, smoothers that Brina has actually manufactured herself. She's got the Get A Grip in the pack. There's nine smoothers in the pack, all different sizes. Let's just show you why Brina's doing this. In fact, maybe she might be able to tell you which ones are which when she's finished smoothing this. They're just for different heights of cakes. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now that's done, I'm just gonna give it a smooth round. Is that okay? Smooth around to get rid of any little lip bit of creating. How lovely is that? It is Aye. brilliant. Fresh. That's something to be I mean, envious of, isn't it? Yeah. You can get really OCD with this and sharpen it up. Yeah, but that was you being OCD. I was happy when you did the first one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now it's tall cake, so I'm just going to go around, vice the smoothers, around the sides. You can rub this way. If it's a real cake, it will fly away from you. So you can get a little bit more pressure in, really tidy it up. This is just so you know when you do, you know like we've done this onto a dummy. If okay. this was real cake, would you buttercream or ganache? Ganache. Right. Yeah. Why would you ganache? Because ganache sets firmer. Mm -hmm. um, and do you know what? It's just easier to work with. Yeah. And you can put more pressure on. You can do taller cakes. Can you put buttercream and then ganache over buttercream? I always butter fill with buttercream. Yeah. And then ganache. So when because I was going to say yeah I've seen you do not that before. With ganache, so you fill with so you fill cream. with buttercream. Do you actually do any of that to just like cr do a thin crumb coat round before no, you ganache? I don't need to. No, you just fill. No, it's just straight onto ganache. Yeah. Um, white chocolate or milk chocolate, depending on the preference. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. if this is a real cake. I would really be giving this a good hard rub. Yeah. Just to. And when you ganache, ganache it, do you have to no risk of do you have to make that really smooth? It comes out smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just comes out smooth. I must admit, I've enough. never really done ganache. We've had people here in the in, in yeah. here using ganache, and then they very foolishly asked me to put it in the microwave, <laughs> which I don't do. But I went on Paul Bradford's um, class earlier in the summer, and that was the first time I used ganache myself properly, and I have to say I did really like it. I, I do have yeah. a tutorial on how to make ganache in yeah. my own group. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that'd be interesting. I know my daughter's converted to get a ganache now. She goes, yeah. Mum, honestly, it's a lot easier than you think. See, any of these little dents, okay, you can rub out if it's not flying away from you. That's the thing with a dummy. People think it's easy to do a dummy, but it's actually harder, isn't it? And because we all have issues and make mistakes or bang the cake with your nail, yeah. <laughs> kind of need to buff that out now. Yeah. So buffing is just going round in circles, okay? You can even add little extra bits of icing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Super. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. Go on. I loved it when you first started it. I thought yeah. it was good enough for me anyway. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> right, happy enough. 
I could go at this forever. Yes. But I'm done now. You've got to learn to stand away, haven't you? Step go away. <laughs> Step away from the cake. It's fine, it's beautiful. Oh, so up. what are they saying, Laura? Beautiful. They really appreciate <laughs> that you've actually done so much already. <laughs> so just show them this um, leaflet. Yeah, um, okay, so, so um, where's all the smoothers gone? The instructions are on the back. I was the hand model, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have so many tattoos back then. <laughs> okay, instructions are exactly what we've said here. It even shows you the little window. Mm -hmm. that you're working with okay so you have the large for what we've just done there and a, the larger ones coming to you soon yeah um, and then we have just a medium but short one so you can use that for three inch tall cakes um, and then we have these dainty ones for little cakes and then you have and this you tiny, the, tiny little one. And your corner ones there. Yeah, you've got the corner ones. And these are brilliant for when you're doing ganache or buttercream and carved cakes as well. So you can flex that and say you've got a ball. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can use them for ganaching too, mm. okay? I actually use those smaller ones as a bowl, as a bowl scraper as well. Mm, them as well, yeah. Mm. So, and then you've got the angled ones for your squares. Now, People seem to be storing them, oh, yeah. like this, okay? Can I just give a quick tip while I'm here? Yeah. Right, if you store them like this, they end up being a little bit bendy rounded, okay? All of you who have angled flexi smoothers, can I get you to store them like this, okay? In a book or something, mm -hmm. to keep them nice and flat, okay? Right, I think you've told me that before. In fact, I'm almost sure you told me that last time you was here. <laughs> One must remember, Laura. See, they're really just, <laughs> if you've got little hands. We do use them in our classes, you know, when we're do. doing classes. Yeah, well, I, I don't use them, but you know, when we get other tutors here, they'll use them. And of course, then when I, I blame the students again, when we put them away, we just put them all inside each other and put them away. I must remember, because yeah. you have told me that before, Verena. Yeah, so really just little different sizes of hands, different sizes of of cakes. cakes yeah there isn't a specific whatever whatever you're comfortable with i mean i've had some people in classes with such dainty hands they couldn't use the yeah. huge ones yeah yeah good now again just remember to hold this nice and flush against the cake this must be clean and your hand must be clean for you to get a good grip okay uh, because if you hold it like this you end up automatically angling it focusing towards that edge and you end up with a yeah un level cake at the sides, you want yeah. it to be perfectly level at the sides and that's the point. And then this. the other thing is, don't put the one with the getter grip on in the dishwasher. Or the sink with hot water, yes, this is don't. wipe clean only, yeah. okay? Wipe clean, make sure you remember, it does say on the instructions wipe clean only, okay? Don't put them in the dishwasher because you'll melt the glue. Yep. All right. And as she says, don't leave them in hot water. In fact, don't even leave them soaking in water. Yeah. These ones here, these are fine. It's in just the get a grip. Water, not yeah. hot, hot water. No. Lukewarm, soapy water is fine for the rest. The get a grip is wipe clean only. Yeah. To be fair, they all only need to be wiped. Yeah. She did your know. first one, didn't you? Mm, I did. Phone me up going if it's come off. It's oh, come no. off. Oh no. Well, well, I had left them all in the sink. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. And did tell her, I said, oh, I've left. So she said, what have you done with it? So I was washing them. Should you leave them in the sink? Get a break, baby. <laughs> in fairness, though, I mean, I shouldn't say this, they stuck back on by themselves. <laughs> yeah, but I was very lucky, but I think that's yeah. because I dealt with it straight away. I rang you while they were, while, while they were slipping off. I mean, but it's taken up me it could a have been long that I could time. have left them in the sink and then walked away yeah. or left them on the draining board. But do you remember, I actually rang you and then yeah. while we were doing it. So she did say, right, just press them together right. quickly, hard. I put something to sit on top of it and it, it didn't come off again. Really? It just never, never came off again, though. Wow. So they're better than I thought they are. Mm. <laughs> Cool. But I'm not recommending that to people no, because no. I don't want people coming back to <laughs> don't mind, do you know? <laughs> you don't want to do that. You might not even stick it in the right side. Just there don't leave them in bowls of hot water and don't put them in the dishwasher. There is a frosted side and a smooth side. The grip is actually stuck to the smooth side, so you get the frosted side oh, against right. the cake. Well, I can't promise I'll put it on the right side. Which helps that buffing and <laughs> sharpening things up. Okay? Right. Goody good.
goody good. So now we're going to decorate the board, are we? Going to roll out and cover the board? Yeah, we're going to decorate the board and then um, we are going to... Are we going to use the sparkly stuff on it? I mean, boss them to use the sparkly stuff. What? Uh, what those little CK stuff? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? I'm thinking... To damage my sharp edge. To do what? To stick it on and ruin my sharp edge. <laughs> oh, right, okay. sharp edge again. Yeah, like, we did, like we did with the mouldering last time we oh, were here. just to take the glue and brush it up. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, why don't you do that then, like yeah? It's just... Yeah. You know how you... Yeah, well, you don't need to do your board yet then, do you? No, I'll do my board just so it dries a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to wet that a little bit. And then, I don't want to worry you, uh -oh. but we've been here one hour 45. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much of a great time we're having. <laughs> so I hope you all want to stay a bit longer, everyone, because yes, I think like we're going to go over. <laughs> Laura's just give me a what nudge. My first slide. My first slide was like two. And I got first. Oh my God. <laughs> That's in the days when John had to follow her around with an iPad. Do you remember when he leaned on your cake afterwards? Yeah. Your very first live. And you went mad because she'd, she'd just done it all oh, square nice. and then John leaned over and leaned on the side oh, of her cake. Nice. I think that's why we covered it up, wasn't it? I say too much for my cake. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, Marina, we're having such a great time. Sorry, everyone, but Laura's just giving me a poke on the time. Um, so I hope you're enjoying it. Do stay with us. If you can't stay with us, come on, Laura, get your feel out. Okay, here we go. So if you can't stay with us for the whole live or you've missed any of the beginning parts, you can catch up when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page, but only when we're finished. And um, the whole Facebook live will be transferred over to YouTube as well. It's normally by the middle of the week. And then you'll also be able to see the one minute videos there as well. Um, for anyone who wants to purchase any of the items, just head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can either search by brand, um, shop by brand, uh, category, use the search bar at the top of the page or go to Facebook Live Wishlist which is on the top right hand side and um, just find the relevant month and look for Barina's name and everything will be there. Also that's really handy if you've watched a previous Facebook Live on Facebook or YouTube and you're not sure of the, where the products are because you can see everything previous so we keep all of the old wish lists as well, we don't remove them or anything like that. So that's actually really handy to um, to refer back to as well if you wanted to. In fairness, we've only started doing that this year. Yeah. Because in December yeah. I deleted them all, ah, and right, that's when Maria okay. went, Carol, we could have saved oh. them. Oh, sorry, didn't delete. Know, delete them. <laughs> so it's only from 2019 we've been saving them. In fairness. But to be honest, if you think about it, we've done one most weeks apart from bank holidays. Yeah. So there's still a fair few for people yeah. to Look at that. up on. Give us that up quick. Did we film yeah, that, Laura? I she did. That, don't worry. <laughs> it was very quick. <laughs> Hope you were all watching while yeah. we were talking to you then. It was very quick, <laughs> but very good. That was good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, very good. good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we put some stuff together now. Yeah. Fiddle Excited. about with a, with a wreath. Mm. Yeah. 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 So anyhow, so going back to all that, if you can't stay with us, okay, you know where to catch up. But we are running late. I haven't pushed Verena to speed up. I've only just told her that we're running. That's because Laura's only just told me. So sorry about that. Wow, look at that. That's wow, nice, isn't that's it? So that's been at the oven for a little while. It's set. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are like me, you're last minute, you dilly dally, you take forever to do things, you can set things at the oven door or next That's a good idea, that though, isn't it? I've never yeah. done that before. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't recommend it with like Tylo and icing sugar. I would recommend it with a good modeling paste. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do a quick little bit of dusting and absolutely wreck your little pad, Carol. Oh, you're doing it on there, are you? Well, I'm doing it somewhere near it. Right. Do you don't want any kitchen roll to do it on there? Yeah, that's a good idea. Actually. Yeah, right next to you. <laughs> yeah, do you want to turn the ovens off, shall I? Oh, okay. sorry, I should have right. Don't worry. And kitchen rolls there. I'm just looking for a little soft, soft, soft brush. I've got more brushes in another pot yeah. behind. Sure, that'll do. Okay, where was that? Um, Claret 
stuff that I had out earlier. I think I put it here. Yeah, you have? Yeah, okay. So this is Claret. So Bye. let me just tell you, I've told you about this product before, okay? So we sell plenty of dust. Some are edible and some are non-edible. So some of you do get a bit confused when we're using a non-edible dust. So let me just tell you, non-edible dust will not kill you. So if you do accidentally eat it, do not panic. You're not going to die. But it's just classed as non-edible because um, there's a few European registrations, legislations that ask you not to, it doesn't qualify. But if you do, if you do accidentally, do not worry, you do not have to run off to the doctors or anything. Um, we very clearly here at Sugar and Crumbs do tell you, doesn't that look gorgeous? Can I show them that? Yeah. Just pop it into the middle. Wow. I like so that. So when you're dusting, sorry, sorry, go ahead, Carol, and I'll so do another one. You can do another one right in front of the light, in front of the camera. Here. Yeah. So when you when the reason we're using this particular dust, we've got loads of absolutely beautiful dust, okay? And if you're going to dust flowers to eat, then you must use the edible dust. But we're going to actually put this on a ring, on a reef, okay? So it's not actually going to, we're not actually going to eat. So we're going to use this range called by Edible Art. Now, it's not edible in eating. It's Ed Able Art, okay? So, and they've put two words together. So it's a play on words. You're absolutely right before you jump out. But I have put on it that it's non-edible. And what, they, what this company does as it has some amazing, vibrant, beautiful colours that the sugar craft world love. They absolutely love them. So um, I've got this product in mainly for sugar craft people because they've requested I bring them in. Um, and, and I don't know what else to say than be very clear about it, really. But if you don't want any, any to use this one, we do have equally as amazing colours as well by the Fractal range and the colour splash range but these are a bit stronger aren't they yes yeah it's just yeah. that it's a shame really because majority of the sugar flowers that you make you wouldn't want to eat them anyway you know. exactly because you've got they're them on a wire pleasant. haven't you yeah, yeah they're not pleasant to eat they Doesn't don't taste nice, nice. <laughs> and they're rock hard and they're rock hard <laughs> they're and they smell a bit like vinegar yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, when you make sugar flowers, and you know, like Brina's going to make this topper now it, with it on the circle. She's going to make this topper. She's using the bee. Well, you know, a lot of people when they when you make that for somebody, they actually take it off and save it, yeah. and they save it as a keepsake, as a reminder, as a memory. So therefore, when you come to use the colours, it doesn't really matter because you're not eating it. But um, and because these are all wired, wired leaves, wired flowers, wired roses. You know, again, it's a great way of using this product. I'm using this product, but I just wanted you all to understand Perfect that there is a taste. difference. The claret is absolutely stunning. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't use that to dust the cake. It really is for flowers. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say to you, actually. When dusting flowers, I'm sure you've seen this in other, other tutorials, um, but what I tend to do is just start in the middle with the heaviest part of the dust and then use the middle to just... Click it out. Click it out. And you do that with leaves as well, if you're starting yeah. from the middle and making it a little bit. There we go. But you know, I just feel terrible leaving here without mentioning that. Yeah. No, but it's a good idea. And it looks so pretty as yeah. well. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah. Go. Lovely. Now, in an ideal world, I would have all these wires so I could just, with a little bit of tape, go around them. Um, I don't have that and I don't have time for the wires to set. So we have some leaves wired and then we're just going to like kind of find a way to plunk yeah. these flowers on. We'll cheat. Yeah. But we'll start with our big rose. So we've got Brina over here today to demo her uh, smoothers again for you. This is the third time she's been in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. People are always wanting to know how to get nice smooth edges. Um, Brina's been here twice now and done square cake, so I thought it was about the time she came back and did a round cake, just in case anybody thought she couldn't do one. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then we've asked her if she could decorate it as well. Uh, last time we asked you to make it, was it a candy box we asked you to make? Yeah. Yeah. So which was beautiful. I know all of you love that. And then today we've actually had her in the warehouse and said, go and pick anything you want and um, get some inspiration. So she isn't actually really sure what she's going to make. She's basically just putting a few things together. And she's going to decide as you go along, aren't you, love? Yep, and these are soft and they're going to fall apart. 
<laughs> well, <they're>, right. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you really need to leave these overnight to set. Yeah. But they haven't been left long, have they? I'm sure you'll, yeah. I'm sure you'll all fine. forgive me. We will, absolutely. When the leaves fall off. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no Our view is a very understanding. We know we put you under a lot of pressure. <laughs> They're I'm also sure. very much aware that we are doing a live and that you don't. You only have so much time to do everything. We should have put them near the oven. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. but... Um, yeah, so I'm just going to twist that round. Ideally, this would be these little leaves would be rock solid. They wouldn't be going anywhere. Okay, we can put more leaves there. See, they're still soft. Yeah. Like if I'm managing to do this soft, yeah, I'm managed. actually really proud of myself right now. Yeah, you're okay. Managed. You'll be fine. And you're gonna pop a rose there. Just look up right. okay. Sorry, I wasn't, wasn't paying attention, attention to camera you. angles. Uh, give me a okay. shove. Okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, shove a rose there. Okay, we'll do as best as we can on this soft, soft. Maybe I should have rolled them a bit thinner. It's not that, it just takes a little while to dry. They should yeah. be left overnight, but I really yeah. wanted to do this today. They are, oh, they are also better. The other thing is we have picked Barina up this morning. Um, picked her up this morning from the airport and then we've had to get her over here. And then, you know, just sometimes when you're doing live, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Maybe we should have made some earlier. Trying to cut the wire. I wondered what you were trying to do. <laughs> it's a very strong comes. wire. Yeah, your, yeah. your wire cutters aren't uh, <laughs> very. <laughs> They're not very strong. It's an 18 gauge cutter, that, isn't it? Oh, you've there done you go. it. There you are. So, you look, what's wrong with my wire cutter? <gasps> <What's that? laughs> <Brilliant. laughs> okay. I mean, it's so delicate because they're so not dry. You'll be okay. fine. It looks great from where we can it see. It really does. I love the little rose. Oh, I do. I'm really quite in love with it. So yeah. now I'm going to grab. I'm going to really cheat now. Oh yeah, what you yeah, do? Proper. Well, this is what they like to see. I'm going to we love cheating, don't we, team? I'm going to get some glue and <laughs> a blob of icing. Laura and I love cheating. I yeah. Love, I, love a, I love a bit of glue and a blob of icing. Right, got a blob of icing. And I need a bit of glue. You need a bit of glue. You need a wee brush. Thank and you. And a wee brush. brush. There you go. See, now everybody's got used to the fact that everything's yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so glue on the wire. Can even, oh goodness, everything's covered in claret now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that's turned to pink, am I? And this is just normal sugar basis, isn't it? That's why I'm quiet, because I use a quiet brush. Oops. <laughs> what was it you were saying about dirty and brushes? <laughs> just done one yourself. Monkey brush. <laughs> Monkey brush. <laughs> so I'm going to shove this stuff here. Okay. You know what? You know what the ladies appreciate, and I'm sure they're saying it already. When things go a little bit AWOL, they want to know how to get yeah. themselves out of it. So you're just now showing them, which is great. Because sometimes we do have a meltdown. It's one of the things why I don't really do sugar flowers. I do it's have like... a proper wreath tutorial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And I do know that this is a lie. So, by the way, um, I'll just remind you guys that Marina does have her own tutorials on Facebook. Okay. So go and find her. I'm almost sure if you go to her main page then you can direct them from the main page to the tutorials from there, can you? Yep, so yeah. <laughs> now you've got blobs of ice and you can just shove stuff in them. Yeah. Brilliant, okay. And because these little flowers aren't wired, do you want me to move this further up here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now we can just put a little bit of glue on these. Okay. Now, ideally, I would have wanted to have enough leaves to go all the way around. Yeah. It's alive, we don't have time for that, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna have to suck it up, okay? We'll get you to finish it afterwards so they can see the finished effect. That's a good idea. Well, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. So we can do a picture, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't go enough leaving our job. See how I'm just sticking these flowers to this beautiful blob of ice in there, right? We're after nine, nearly ten. Are we nearly ten now, Laura? Yeah, about a minute too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blob of ice in so tray. after nine you can say certain words, after ten you can go for it. <laughs> okay. So 
you know, little gloves of icing. I can treat for mint. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, you can remember the texture. Oh, I see. So you're just cutting them down and sticking them in the sugar paste, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, how pretty is that? I went a little bit here and that little a couple of little flowers in there. Okay, so little blobs of icing. Little blobs of icing. <laughs> No, we like blobs of icing. I think it looks really good with yeah, blobs of icing, looks, don't you? It's fantastic. Yeah. And even even though I know it's not the full tutorial that you would do, it just gives people the start of the inspiration. It gives them confidence to have a Definitely. go, doesn't it? And yeah. that's what we want to do. I mean, if I can do this in an hour and a bit, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I am the clumsiest person in the world. Well, that's what I'm saying. And you know, we not only are you doing this live, we've been talking through it. We did we did quite a long intro as well, didn't we? Yeah. So you know. When you are doing this at home, in the peace and quiet of your own home, these things to be done properly take a lot longer. Yeah. So we're doing this on the live, and as all our regular viewers do know, oh, that Isn't looks nice. Soft, that Doesn't that look so pretty. pretty? It's soft. Yeah. It's very soft. Yeah, we'll manage, but we're don't worry. we deal with it. Yeah. But this is what Bruno was saying before. You would have all of your flowers and your leaves pre-made. And um, you can just go along and dust them. So basically everything is pre-prepared for you when you've got more time, you're in the comfort of your own kitchen. You know, obviously you've got plenty of time. And you know, you've got to bear in mind this is a two hour live. Yeah. Um, we've, you know, we've managed to get a lot in by Darina yeah. tonight, a lot. And um, the other thing is, if you speak to people who do flowers, you'll find that they'll do one night of flowers. Yes. Don't they? You yeah. do that. I, I know, yeah. I, don't, I don't make professional, I don't make flowers like that, but I do use the sugar blossom mark flowers. And I find I just sit there at night time, yeah. cutting them out, letting them dry, and I do that one night, and then I go back and dust them. Yeah, pop them all in a box, yeah. and you've got them then, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, so um, I've got these 18 G wires, I think. Yeah, yeah. they are 18. Um, and usually I would dip this into chocolate or safety seal, mm -hmm. okay? Um, because I would not put, not put uh, wires directly into the cake. But, but because we're using a dummy, yeah, we're using a dummy, so nobody's going to eat this. No. I'd be concerned if they did. Yeah, <laughs> we will be. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, go for so, it. Got my little dummy on the cake. I'm going to decide where my wreath is going to go here, where my flat leaves all fall off. And then I'm going to take... Well, I am responsible for making your... Uh... This little wire. So do remember, anybody who's just coming to watch, okay. we would normally put the wire either into safety seal, which we sell on our site, or you can actually coat them in chocolate, melted chocolate, let them dry, and then you can cope with that as well. That's a good way of holding that. I was wondering how you was going to hold clever. it up. Eh? Right, do you want to turn Bring around you? so they can all see? I was wondering how you was going right. to do that. What I'd like to do quickly that is then so put pretty. the bee on, and I see okay. this bit. Can we just paint that yeah. rose gold? Yeah. Or something. You want to paint it rose gold? Yes. Do you want me to get your gold yeah, out? Yep. Duper, that is so pretty. Super yeah. duper quick. And then because. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nobody's ever made me a birthday cake. Oh. I make myself one. Oh. I would actually ideally like to have this dangling. Yeah. That's a nice idea. Um, how you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice idea. How are you going to do it? <laughs> you put a hole through it. Once yes, it's, once set, it's completely set. The Squire's Sugar Florist sets like porcelain. It's solid, solid, solid. Okay? okay. So once it's set for a few days and you've already got the hole through it, you can literally just put a little string through it or a little hook. Is that okay? That's where it's going by edible art. Is it? I've never now used this it edible art is edible. <laughs> yeah, this is the sweet it's stick. Spelled correctly, yes. edible. <laughs> no, exactly. This is okay. the sweet stick, edible art. I'm gonna let a copper, a copper, copper rose gold, but this will do for. There we go. Do you just want me to dunk it straight in, or? Sorry. Do you just want me yeah, to? Yeah, you just dunk stick it right straight in. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I like it. Yeah, it's actually thick enough as well to go straight yeah. on as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Got to give it a good shake. Yeah. yeah. I like that's that. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Give it a really good shake. And then, because uh, that's been laid down in the cupboard. Yeah. But just give it a really good shake and then you can just paint straight on. It's okay, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> So 
Have I covered it all? Because I can't see a thing. I think so. No, looks like I have. Okay, and then you've got to just give it a little. See, now I'm getting artsy fartsy. This is why. Oh, you now just you're getting excited now, aren't you? Let's do a few more things. <laughs> this is why you just wing it. So this is um, Sweet Sticks Edible Art, okay. Um, this is edible, it's, as, as Marina says, it's spelt correctly. And this is a paint, so it's made by Sweet Sticks. There's loads of colours, about how many colours oh, is Oh gosh, it? I don't know. We're just getting more and more every week. They? Yeah. <laughs> because they do, to be fair, Sweet Sticks do keep bringing out new shades of everything all the time. Every time they contact us or I look on their Instagram page, there's more and more shades have been released. So um, so we, we literally have to increase our range all the time to keep up with them. Have you dropped a bit on your cake? Uh, have Would you like to use one of the Spectrum Flow wipes? Yeah, give it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We have it all here. You've got it all. <laughs> yeah, do you want to show a bit? Do you want to show what you spilled? Yeah. <laughs> Just get yourself a little wipe out. Wait a minute. Da -da 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 -da. I need these too. Eh? I need these for my order as well. Here, that's actually not bad for a little bit, you know. No, it's fantastic. Considering, uh, like, this morning I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, yeah, exactly. So these are made by Spectrum Flow. Lovely. And these Thank are for when Spectrum you. Spectrum Flow. It's when you just show them what you've just done. Okay. Just go there because you're supposed to turn it around. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, so it's just spilled. barely a, a little drop Oh there. my goodness. It's like the board as well. Oh, is there? Are oh, right, okay. Super wipeys. Yes. Have you caught, right. have oh, you caught, your, you caught your straight edge there as well? I actually, oh yeah. <laughs> I've just been a mess. There right, you go. I really love them. Good, aren't they? Oh, completely gone. Bad, the and life. then the other thing is, don't waste that. Just, like, cut that in a bit. Yeah. yeah, well, don't waste that. This is what I do, okay? okay? I just fold it back up now because it's wet yeah. and I fold it up, keep the colour away and I actually put it back inside the packet, seal the packet up yep. Perfect. and use it again, which come around. So I just used it again. So you'll see it's, I folded it up and just stuck it inside because it's still wet and yeah. I've only used a tiny bit so there's no yeah. point throwing it away. Yeah. Right, just going to chop this up with your uh, tiny little wire cutter. I'm going to chop the bee in. Do we have some ribbon? Oh God. <laughs> God. Put me with work here, like my muscles are work. Oh, there we go. Working. Do we have ribbon? Uh we do have some ribbon somewhere. We might have some things before I came on it. <laughs> well I did send you a list. Did you say ribbon? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, I don't remember ribbon being on there. Right, okay, let's see. If you want, if you want to be tidied up cupboards somewhere. Now, ideally, I would use like the sugar paste is the same colour as this bee, but come on, it's just. I mean, I literally wing everything in life, so this will just have to be the same. Again. A ribbon. ribbon. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what? There's something seriously wrong with me. I can't freaking remember anything. That's so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. That is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe how effective it looks. There we go. Oh, you've missed it. Oh, look no. at that! Karina! <laughs> and look at that, I've got your lovely ribbon there. Handmade with love. I know, is that a bit cheesy for you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got a nice orange coral oh, colour to match. I'll tell you what I have got. Shut up. Shut up. Do you know what? I can see nothing but my face is <laughs> The thing is, though, it just says what we were all thinking. <laughs> Beautiful ribbon. 
yes. or another just cake. Just not for this cake. <laughs> yes. It's simple. Do you know what? It's very much my style of work. It's simple, flowery, and a pastel colour would look nice yes. around the bottom. Yeah. Even if it was just like a lilac. Do you know what? Even without purple. using like a floral hoop. Yeah. That goes nice with Yes, that it colour. does. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it just finishes it off. No, it is absolutely stunning. So the paint, just for those of, uh, those of you asking, it's the Edible Art Sweet Sticks range. There's loads of different colours available. Um, and this was the oh, rose sorry. gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting worse, aren't they? <laughs> They're getting worse. And um, so this is the rose gold paint. And all Marina's done is use the paint to go... <laughs> To Not cover right. the white metal hoop, which is an 18 gauge, um, and then as you've seen, just the ball detail to cover the end of the metal, just adds a little bit of the finishing touch um, and matches really nicely. So the gels that have been used um, is a fractal range. They're all available in sugar and crumbs. We've used the vivid green for the leaves. We've used the claret to colour some of the um, uh, pasta de flores. Um, flower paste before and we used the orange but only a very small amount of it for the letter B and um, the letter B was a patchwork cutters range and obviously there's a full alphabet of those all available on sugar and crumbs and um, the sugar paste that has been used is the select island which comes in a white five kilo um, it comes in a baby blue and baby pink two kilo or two and a half kilo um, and that's a select island range um, so the calyx cutters are the FMM range along with the actual rose petal cutters as well um, like I say everything is available if you can find it on Sugar and Crumbs website and it's all on the wish list as well so you don't Apart have to search ribbons, through so yeah, just, just not ribbons <laughs> <laughs> Why I'm practically running around here. It's because ribbons. we've got a gorgeous lime neon lovely, green. I do have a lovely. Could you have done a lime green? A lime green. A shop of baked with love. Instructions on how to ruin a cake. <laughs> I've got a gorgeous silver ribbon somewhere. Do you know what? It really doesn't matter. It's just no. an example, isn't it? Yeah. The handmade with love will just do. An that will we'll do. Just go with handmade with love, which is available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. I cop it. <laughs> it's gorgeous for another cake. For another cake. It's lovely. Shall we cut some and put it behind this cake? We well, may as well, aren't you? Do we have scissors? Do we have scissors? We don't have to if you don't want to cut no, it. No, I do. Yeah, I do. I've got some silver it. ribbon somewhere. I can find some after. No, we're good. I like this one. Is it, is it growing on you? Yep. Great. Like a beautiful fungus. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't know where everything is. The problem is, we're in here every week. So we're in here, we're doing lives, we're doing the demonstration days, we do... Um, classes, all your classes. All the classes. <laughs> and then stuff just gets moved, it comes from here, it goes to the demonstration kitchen, it goes back, I never know where it is. And I'm not teaching anybody... The fact anybody. that I can remember my name is amazing. <laughs> not teaching anybody... What am I called again? Here. What's your name? <laughs> where are we? But to glue, glue the ribbon on, it's just literally a little bit of edible glue. Okay, that works just fine. A little bit on the ribbon. There we go. And that works. Oh, I think that looks nice. Okay. What do you think? Do you think it that looks, looks nice? Gorgeous. What camera are we on there, Laura? I'm just gonna oh, look at that. that. There you go. Look at and that. that matches. Oh, oh and there we go. Put it in the middle, then we can yeah. all see it clearly. I'm going a dust burst, Laura. Sorry. <laughs> Marina girl, you've done well. Look, she sees she's out of the she's, now, isn't she? Right, get it Trying to finish it all off for you. What was you going to do with that glitter? I was going to put a bit at the bottom, but I don't you think decided I No. I think it, like it, I, think I actually just think. Perfect. I, I'm going to say this. I actually think that is simply elegant. It says it's absolutely stunning. I know, I know you don't like the handmade with love, but I do think it's very simply elegant. It makes it unique. And the other thing is, I think not having it all around, I think it makes it just yeah, lovely. Yeah. So I think that would make a fantastic cake for mm -hmm. somebody or a wedding cake. So you could have two initials or a birthday cake just like this for somebody. Did you say it was just for yourself? Just for me. Because mm. nobody's making one. Oh. So anyhow. <laughs> So what do we think, gorgeous. everybody? For those of you who have stayed past 10 o'clock, Not Marina. bad, only 15 minutes <laughs> over. Oh, was it not bad? Yeah. Well, not bad. 
Not bad. Yeah, that's all right, because they've done quite a, you know. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think, everybody? Do you like it? Absolutely. Get those thumbs up. Yeah. Remember, this girl's been up since four o'clock this morning to I come over here and see you guys. Such a closed question. Do you like it? How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. I don't think I can take a rejection tonight. <laughs> So just remember this girl's been up since four o'clock this morning for you. Yesterday, obviously it's Sunday, she's getting herself prepared. Come over here. She's been awake all day. She might get a couple of hours sleep, but then she's up early for the crack of dawn. What time yeah. have you got to be on your flight tomorrow? Eight, so it's not too bad. So that means you have to leave the airport. You're not really here about six half yeah. past, aren't you? Nice. You're not getting the taxi back, I'm not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> And Laura and I have been in work all day as well, yeah, yeah. so we've been all well today. So um, I hope you do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it tonight. As per usual, we take everything very light-hearted here in the kitchen. It's just about giving you ideas, a bit of inspiration, how to play with some of our tools, how to use colours, learn a few tips along the way, pick up some um, really good quality tools, dust, all sorts of things. They're all on our website and know how to use them. Yeah. Fantastic. I really love those cutters now. Oh, do you not like them before? I didn't know them. <laughs> I have patchwork cutters, but I didn't even know uh, that they did big, big letters. Oh, the big letters. I don't would definitely great. cut it thinner next time and then do yes. two layer, just so we don't get these in. To be fair, so. Marion does that. She yeah. cuts, she um, cuts them into two. Yeah. So she rolls them really thin, and then and, two. Um, and then she does two, and then she yeah. puts the wire up the back, mm. then glues one, and again she does the same. Says leave it overnight yeah so normally when she comes she prepares mm. one already and then she shows you how to do one but obviously we couldn't do that with Verena because she actually had no idea what she was doing and then she can't keep bringing a load of stuff over so she's just got to bring herself over in an overnight bag mm. so we like that don't we yeah absolutely I, I think it's very start. classy what does everybody else like love it absolutely stunning amazing and lots of thank yous as well because you've you. managed to squeeze in so much in this session should we get her back again for a fourth session definitely <laughs> no, there's people saying you straight away yeah. straight yeah. away when are you coming back please come back right so before we go tell them about your facebook name your page your name on your facebook page the page is just cakes by barina uh, you can message me on there and um, if you do make cakes as a hobby or as a professional we do have a small group um, it's called Brina's Cake Room, Cakers Only. Um, so you can message me or one of the other admin just to show us that you do make cakes. Um, and and we don't, don't want know, anybody who's just snooping. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's a safe zone. Yep. It's very small, we keep it small. So. Yeah. You're, you're welcome if you make yeah. cakes. And if you want to buy <laughs> online tutorials? If you want to buy online tutorials, they're usually advertised on my page on the group or Instagram, so everything's just Cakes by Barina. Do you know what, it's such an unpopular name, <laughs> but if you put Barina into Facebook, yes, I will does. just be everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> you will. It's well worth it, go and have a look. Anyhow, thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Don't forget we have a community group, Sugar and Crumbs All About Cake Community. It's a fantastic group, very much like Verena says that it's all about cake. Yeah. Like Verena and her group, she only wants cakers. Our group is all about cake. So it's called Sugar and Crumbs, as you know, because that's our business name. We're telling you about the products that we sell and that's all we're really interested in telling you about. And then we've got All About Cake, because it's meant to be all about cake. And then it's a community so that you can share your cake share what you've done it doesn't matter whether you're a new person just come into baking and you're only made some cupcakes or a basic uh, Victoria sponge whatever it is there's lots of help in the community group so do come over and join that it's great fun and we will see you next week I don't know what we're doing next week I do don't you know, know. I'm, I don't I'm know. lost <laughs> <laughs> I've lost myself so I'm gonna, we'll be back next week <laughs> A whole week to plan, that's a long time. Yeah, we'll end up like coming you. back next week. We can, we can plan things. We've got Maria. Right. Shelley, do you know who's here next week? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no Maria, pressure. Maria normally remembers because Maria makes up the wish yes. list and remembers everything. Right, anyhow, we will see you. Thank you. Soon. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.